It is 1991 and it is time for Shogi no Hoshi. the brain. I'm, I'm ready for Shoggy. Welcome back to the Mega Marathon, everybody. What's going on? It's Thursday. It's a scheduled stream. God fucking damn it. All day I spent starting Shoggy today, neglecting food and drink. Some would say for the sake of learning an ancient Japanese game. Some would more correctly say for the sake of game, I have neglected food and drink until I woke up from a game slumber and I was like, ah, oh my God, I'm hungry. Let me cook some meat, and while the meat cooked, I ate some cheese, I drank some beer, I ate some peanuts, and then the meat was ready, and I slayed seven chicken thighs. There's about six chickens, if Matt serves me right, Jack 93, Samine 666, Nico Jazz, Gonzo Wookie, Rento 486, Spider Man, Wooder, Father X Keeper, Siege, welcome back, arcade guys, Siege. Mono 69 Station, Nico Jazz, Aaron Zoltan, Neck, Necronut, Neo Freeman, Abba Putty, Monsieur Sijouf, Stealer Carl, Juice Willie, Stock Admirer, and everybody else is too weak to leave a message in chat or YouTube chat. This is gonna be the second stream of Shogi no Hoshi, the star of Shogi. Today we're gonna defeat the first opponent. I know all about fork, I know all about skewer, I know all about fucking punting and home runs and all the fucking strategy names. I've studied them all. I'm ready. What's up, Gumboni? What's going on, everybody? Since I got a sound coming from my phone, let me mute that. Mute it. You guys ready for stream number two of Shogi no Hoshi? If you missed the first stream, don't worry about it. Uh, you missed nothing that you won't see again except the manual with the full color comic manga we translated and shit like that but this is a home data game remember dragon's eye plus shanghai 3 that was also a home data game uh, indeed hey uh, you got some neon uh, neon eggplants in chat pretty good too bad samson's out eating uh bows and shit right yeah uh, um whoa doo doo Thank you for the 11 months. Chicken thighs, chicken breast gives me chicken to the jest. I want chicken in my gut so I can poop it on my butt. Hold on. Chicken. 
chicken thighs, chicken breasts, give me chicken to digest that one chicken in my gut so I can poop it up my butt. Is that good? Thank you, Dudu Fadulato, for the 11 months. And I forgot to thank everybody who subscribed uh, during the intro and not who redeemed a watch streak. But instead, Neil Freeman, thank you for the 33 months, Neil Freeman, using the hype emote. Avo Putty, what's going on? 20 months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream and allowing me to buy almost basically six chicken thighs for the price of two euro maybe two euro and 20 so every time i see that offer i just fucking buy them dude it's a no-brainer even if i can't cook them and i don't have time i just slap them in the freezer so i had two com i had two boxes of six and six that's 12 and i just fucking marinated that shit yesterday today i dried it up you can see the results on discord and or patreon but I like I have other two boxes of that in the deep freezer. As a matter of fact, there's more where that came from. It's what I'm saying. And I ate seven. Some of them I smear later in the third stage. Smiling big. Two months. Thank you, smiling big. Thank you, smiling big. A two month subscription is maybe the one that makes me smile the biggest. It's maybe the one that makes me smile. The biggest out of all subscription tiers. And you're new to the stream, relatively speaking, right? And some other might be new enough or not ancient as much to not really understand why I'm saying biggest. And I don't have to explain shit to you, to be quite honest, but it's so funny. I just I just have to show this off. Whenever I remember to, I have to bring out the Taiwanese game for the Mega Drive Smart Mouse's cover art. American Rat, Smart Mouse. This is me after I ate seven chicken thighs. I'm super healthy. I am rich and fine, big and strong. I am the American Rat and I am superstar. I am biggest. Very good. Now we're all on the same wavelength. Thank you guys for subscribing this early into what is a shoggy stream. I don't know why you're doing that, but hey. Taiwan, am I right? Am I right? Am I right, chat? Am I right? By the power of Taiwan, I bestow upon you all my thanks for subscribing to my stream once again. Even to you numb subscribers like you advisory, welcome back. Now, unfortunately, this game is not developed in Taiwan. So we're gonna get rid of that. This game is developed in the lands of Japan. For it is a home data game. And it kind of reprises the sounds, roles, and names of a popular Japanese baseball anime. But enough about that, let's talk about my chicken thighs. Half of them I smeared on stage three of the cooking with spicy BBQ sauce. The other half with honey mustard BBQ sauce. None of that using BBQ sauce as a condiment. No, bitch, you use that shit for cooking, dude. First, you take the fucking chicken out. Then you let it fucking rest in a big fucking marinade bowl for 24 hours. After that, you get them out of there. You rescue them from the bowl of doom with all the condiments, the sauces, the spices, the herbs, the olive oil. They show you the fucking pomegranate vinegar, the coriander powder. 
the black pepper, the salt, the mustard, the Dijon mustard, the powdered mustard. And then you tap, you dry it gently. You dry it with kitchen paper. And then you put them in two hot, smoky hot frying pans. And get all the skin fucking char. I call that the browning. And you take that shit out and you put it in an oven tin. And then you cook it. But after a while, you take that shit out, you put on a glove or some shit, you go raw dog, that works too, and you smear, you just... You just smear that sauce in there. Then it goes back in the oven. And then you gotta eat seven of them, or you're a bitch, pretty much. Can you show the ultimate chat on the back of the box? Say less. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can't you just boil them and add ketchup? Maybe if I had no tongue, but I would still have a palate. I would never, I would never do that. Now, chicken thighs aren't exactly the kind of meat that you tend to marinate, right? Chicken breast is much better for that. Fuck that! You can marinate that shit, you marinate that shit. Just gotta dry. Drying is the most important step there. Otherwise, you fucking make a mess and you don't get any crunch. My god, it was so good. It was so good, guys. You have no idea. Anar Koshin, welcome back. What's going on? Yes, I studied. Today I studied. I got good. I didn't practice or play, I just watched that guy's videos. That guy's videos from literally 15 years ago are so good. They are great. That'd be a good emote, you say? The thing is, I only have animated emotes left. So if somebody adds some animated flair to that, like maybe some cigarette smoke, then, uh, you know, I would happily add that. I have a bunch of free animated emotes, lots left, even though I added a bunch the other day. Pioneer Sex 1280, 17 months. Thank you so much. What's up, Icarus? Have you guys subscribed to me five times today before I even started the stream? Or is there a mistake? Three, four, five. I'm playing. I'm playing Shoggy. How are you guys subscribing to me? Oops. Play Shoggy? You guys like Shoggy? You guys like Shoggy gamers? You guys like obscure Japanese Mega Drive shit that only has one game in its genre? Is that what you guys follow for? Ghost Hole? Hello there. Not a mistake, I needed to renew my Prime sub. Well, you subscribed too, that didn't count. It didn't show up. Did I miss it? No, it didn't. What's wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Perhaps you're thinking, well, surely he's not gonna play fucking Shoggy, which I don't give a fuck about if we make him do a million squats after he just ate seven chicken thighs. That can be good, surely. We'll prevail this time. I'll go back tomorrow and play some fucking Super Mario Land. Let me tell you something, Buster. Oof! <laughs> 
Oh, they're coming out. Oh, they're coming out. Hello, Nikita Lobo. Welcome back, Strange Father Dracula. Hello, Lost Edge. It is a tough shot. He likes these, doesn't he? The bank. Well, not this one. He doesn't like this one. <laughs> oh, he's coming off the rail. Look oh, at this. hit what it perfect. Shot. Hit it perfect. What a great shot by Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> is he a gamer? <laughs> Yes, he is! God damn it, Ghost Hall, thank you for the $2.30. Yes, Icarus is shoggy this time, but there's only about six or seven opponents. It's sort of an arcade style game with no saves, continues, or password. This game truly seems amazing. There's power ups and consumable items and shit, but the AI is pretty fucking tough. And I have been studying today, neglecting food and drink to bring you guys an arc. A saga of progress and shoggy. We need to post the tutorial for the basics again in chat. Quick, somebody, wait for me to post it and then you can pin it or post it yourself or whatever the fuck. Where is that shit? Ugh. Not the wiki how. Where's that dude that speaks a fucking. Really slowly. <laughs> there he is. Alright, somebody pinned that shit. Actually, no. Hold on. That shit. The last one. Whew. What's up, Raikin? Thank you, Lobster Gator, for the pin. Thank you again, Ghostal, for the donation. Um, here be no eye right now. Jamming jet boots. That's not happening. That's not happening. What's happening is uh, is this game right here. This game, this cool game with the most shit. Tile set, font possible. <laughs> this the, the most crappy fucking tile set. Not even on NES Mahjong games you will see a tile set font as shit as that. But here we are. Here we are. Don't matter to me. All right. It's fun. It gets a bit... After one stream, it's fun. It gets a bit tricky when it's reversed. <laughs> Hello, the Majin Zenki. What else could you do? Well, just do a better font. Just do a better font. The font sucks. Uh, there's no excuse for resolution. I mean, okay, let's take a look at... Uh, this is a topic uh, that I find very interesting. Now, perhaps the person that would find it more interesting than me even is Icarus, because he plays a bunch of Mahjong games. But if I go and type on YouTube, Mega Drive, Shi King Joe, we get a Sunsoft game that has its best version on the Mega Drive, and it's a puzzle game, and... comes in one of those little tiny boxes. I have this game, as a matter of fact, and supports online. Whereas you can create your levels and upload them to the internet through the Mega Modem. Now, if I the the, the, the Mega Drive long play by Schwatch five minutes? That <laughs> TV five minutes. Uh oh Xenic. Oh Xenix eight years ago. Damn. I watched someone else. I was talking about me. <laughs> I watched someone else's playthrough, and the password appeared after some time of waiting. I reset too quickly my first playthrough. 
Damn, I played it twice just to get the password for the other two. Uh, uh, this game's got uh, 200 levels. We only did the first 100. I have to redo this. And why am I talking about this game? Well, in this game, you can at all times select your... Oh, this is just the credits. You, you can at all times select your tiles. And this is the poker ones with the rabbit music. Let's try uh, Schlauch's video. I just want to take a look at, at, at something together with you guys, all right? The ad is kind of spoiling the timing of it, but... God fucking damn it, Slouchy. What is this scrap? This is not a long play! It's not even a long... P oh, <laughs> it's not... That's not Slouchy. It's a meme. <laughs> Wait, maybe it is him. That's not a fucking long play, dude. Do I have to look up my own VOD for this shit? Come on, dude. Did nobody play this crap? It's a great fucking game. This guy... Uh, what is the game? What is this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? Sure as fuck shouldn't, but there's not a fucking playthrough of this game online. Are you serious? There's no playthrough. <sighs> Alright. Alright. This is all just because I want to compare, I want to look at the Shogi tile set. Now I'm gonna dig up my own fucking VOD from 1996. Because I guess I have obsessive compulsive fucking disorder. 2015. Alright. So I'm gonna work with this tool, because it only digs up a thousand ones. But let's... The front. The front. Most of the front. Connor man. What's up, Connor, man? 500 bits! Welcome back, Connor, man. Enjoy your happy fart badge. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. That's very kind of you. Chicken Joe doesn't match because it just fucking brings out half of my balls. 900. All right. 2015. Now, luckily today with Twitch, it's easy to just click this button and boom, it goes page by page. Back then, my god, just as like a year and a half ago, this would be so slow to do and I wouldn't even have bothered. Now nah, fuck it, I got 2,000 streams on Twitch. Yeah. I don't know if you can moist in the front according to the new Twitch rules. Yeah, I guess going, um... Going in a just chatting category isn't gonna be fun anymore, huh? Is liking all the Mega Drive content to drive the Mega Drive audience towards my own videos? <laughs> no, I think actually disliking videos is helps its engagement helps them got something in mind almost there oh wait <laughs> wait a second wait wait Everybody stop. Everybody fucking stop. <laughs> this is a two hour, 20 minute legendary legacy stream. Now, I'm going to click on one random spot, and that will be it. I will do nothing else. And then I will leave it on for just 10 seconds. You guys ready? Here we go. I did not pay attention. <laughs> hey, 
Can you like cheat? <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, like instead of actually uh, doing this, I can just uh, tap the uh, the lightning thing. I'm sweating all the chicken thigh condiments through my forehead and tear ducts right now. Um, hello, Emmy. No, who's in chat? I didn't pay attention to that. Oh. Oh, where's that? Telltale Mahjong Clear. Only one year away, chat. I have that. I have that rod hanging on my wall, next to my crossbow and my sling. It's on my weapon rack. Okay, it should be somewhere here. Said so the clear was in October. Was it? Yeah. Uh, Can we get a fucking search button, motherfuckers? God fucking damn, Micro Machines. Is it after or before that? What? It's way after that. Hold on, let me full screen it over here. Let me hide that in case there's any blatant dick. I don't even know if I the one that did all the stupid highlights. This stopped being worth it 50 minutes ago, by the way. Ah! Found it! Alright, fuck. <sighs> Alright. Damn. I'm in my ex ex girlfriend's room. She's dressing. <laughs> I have a cam pointed to my crotch. <laughs> a second cam. <laughs> yes, I know you're not watching. You're not seeing that. I'm fully aware. <laughs> ah, there it. There it is. Wait. Shut the fuck up. Oh, okay. I thought, okay, so it's been apparently nine years since I played this, and I thought these were shoggy tiles. Turns out these are not shoggy tiles. These are random fucking numbers and characters that have nothing to do with shoggy at all. <laughs> what a waste of fucking time. <laughs> well, anyway, Zenki, eat shit. This tile set font fucking sucks. Could have done much better, much easily. Much, much. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, we got to find a Dragon Rod stream. That was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it to me. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Um, everybody, who did I miss? Sam is here. Uh, Siju is here. <laughs> you know? We'll be right back. Mesameru, Pokari Sweto, 
細胞の一つ一つが目を覚ますイオンサプライズポカリスエット I have a huge surprise for you guys. You will never believe what's going to happen on this channel. She was coming home to the jungle and to their wild, untamed love for butter. Cut down by cholesterol. Until. Darling, look what I've brought back. I can't believe it's not butter. It's the premier spread flavored with real sweet cream buttermilk for a fresh butter taste but without the cholesterol. How civilized. I can't believe it's not butter. The taste you love without the cholesterol. And now, finally. When I'm tired. ポカリスエットを飲む細胞の一つ一つが目を覚ますイオンサプライズポカリスエット Maybe there's better fonts on the tiles of Super Famicom games Yeah, you can't compare since this is a Mega Drive But I've seen some very nice Mahjong tiles on、um, the Mega Drive And I've seen some shitty ones as well You know, that's the first thing I noticed when I... When I look at a、uh, Majun game, the first time you notice is the tile set. And now. <laughs> now, something none of you could have possibly expected to happen on this channel. Hold on, hold on. Something none of you might have ever possibly expected. That is. s i j u f is on my stream right now. He's here. I have no idea if I can hear him. Yes, I can hear him. Hello. Yes, your, your volume is at 200%, s i j u f Perfect. You can hear me through, through the Twitch thing? <laughs> Yeah, I can hear you through the Twitch thing. Cool. Exactly. It works perfectly. Yeah, that's actually very surprising. I never used it like this, and it took about 30 seconds. Nice. Okay.、Um, Sijouf is a friend of the stream, of course. He's a French streamer from somewhere very nearby Paris, French, France, whatever. I fucked that up. And、uh, he hosts a lot of cool events on his channel that all have the same name. Is that right, Sijuf? They're all called Lawnmower Tournaments. Indeed. That is、Tondeuse、English for.、Tournaments. How do you say it in French? Tondeuse. 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 All right. Yes. Yeah, these are、uh, events that are mainly based around. Retro or indie games that are not very known that are interesting in some way, and I like to, to show, and in which I like to see people trying to make sense of the game and try to play them. It's very funny when、uh, the game is all in like Chinese and people, you know, are like from Marseille or Ohio or Paris, France, and I don't have any idea how to read Chinese. You know, what would be funnier too if the game. Was fully like pornographic, but <laughs> just, <laughs> just not because be of the、funny. game. Like, I was thinking more about the reactions of the people playing them, right? And trying to、yeah. <laughs> make sense of the game. <laughs> the big ban event of the year. All right, so. Was the last one to give up on the game. 
<laughs> All right, Siege of here it has been hosting those events in uh, French, of course, because he's a French streamer for many years on his own channel. Some mod, do your fucking job, I'm not paying you for it. And uh, shout out Siege of in chat, thank you very much. You're lovely, adorable. Uh, as of recently, namely last year, if I'm not mistaken, he had his first, or was it the second world edition of the Tondu Sijuv? It was the first one, yeah. It was the first one, and I, with Jiggy, uh, Mike, and Kale, we participated as the Banana Pink Peelers, and then, you know, I was like, hey, maybe we should throw and lose on the first round so that Sijuv can invite me and Jiggy live in Paris, France to commentate the finals. And that's exactly what we did. And we went there live. It was awesome. Sishu was a really gracious host. He spread the salted butter on the baguette for us. That was that was lovely. That really put a big, big dent in my heterosexuality. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. What we're here to talk about with Sishu is what's going to happen exactly about 48 hours from now. Isn't that right, Sishu? Yeah, pretty much. Saturday at 8 p.m. CET for the ones that are in Europe, but it will be at the same time for everyone. I will host uh, for the first time a uh, Tondes event that is open to, to everyone. It's just one single match, no tournament, no season around it. Just one single match where everyone can take part and uh, it will be a one-hour match. So if any of you want to participate, you can. <laughs> I don't know what links I, I can send in chat, but pretty much the, the form to, to sign up is on my Discord. So if you go to my channel, you'll see the Discord and you'll be able to join. If I think I posted interested. an announcement myself on my own. I'm trying to grab the link if people want to check it on real time. Uh, yes, here it is. There is a submission form and I'm going to give yeah. you a shout out so people can follow. Which, if people do not do that, they're weak. But then again, you know, this kind of shit doesn't really do anything. It's all for the fun of the event. You know, that's actually what we care about is the games. And uh, and uh, even if uh, people, you know, they have a uh, itch on their knee or their dick fell out or whatever, they have a broken thumb or uh, their boobs are swelled up and they cannot participate, they can watch the event. And if they can't watch it in French on your stream, as they should, because, you know, that's all going to be like bibbidi boppity to them, just like when I talk to considerably, they can watch the English restream over here. Exactly. I have the, the honor of having yourself as an English co-host. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe someone else with you. I don't know if we speak about it now. That was a, yeah, that was a God Lord Ultimate Emperor of Twitchers Retro that uh, invited to co commentate with me. But I wanted to fit him on the screen here. But uh, OBS gave me an error. It was like, hey, if you gotta have Jiggy in your, your OBS scene, it's just gonna be Jiggy and nobody else. So it crashed. It kept crashing. So I'm like, all right, see you. We'll wing it. We'll give the big announcement that Jiggy also is gonna be again on my channel. It's Saturday, 8 p.m. Rome time. All time zones lead to Rome. Although that's also the Paris time zone. And that's about it. That's about it. Anything else you wanna say about the, um, the event or uh, the game that you cannot actually talk about? I cannot talk about the game, but there's one thing that is public and that the players already know to help with the, the setup. That it will be a Game Boy Advance game. Ooh. So, yeah. We'll see which one. You can try to guess at home if you want. <laughs> if you know obscure and interesting GBA game. But yeah, expect... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw that? Okay. I uh, see, I see. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're quite about done here, Siju. So I'm just going to have a bit, a bit of fun with your face until you sign off. Anything you yeah, want to say to my I chat? <laughs> <laughs> you want to say goodbye or something? <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for uh, listening. If you want to participate, <laughs> feel free. And uh, <laughs> if you want to watch, you can watch it here in two days. <laughs> see ya, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Siju. Thank you for stopping by. Let's use this. Should you retro streamers should use this feature more often? That was really easy to set up. How was it for you? Was it easy? Or was it hard? Very easy. Just there you go. To set up a virtual camera, and that's it. All right.
That was uh, Monami Sijuv for twitch.tv slash Sijuv. Giving a round of applause in chat. Thank you to me for joining me. And I'll see you or uh, I will see you virtually on Saturday. Best of luck with the event. We love you. Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. All right, there you go. A little surprise. Did you guys enjoy that or are you fucking bitches? Boom. Where can I watch the Italian restream? Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, that was not my shogi coach. That, my, that was my baguette coach. Lord some baby, hello. Yeah, the stream together feature, I've only used it twice. This was my first time as a host. The other hot time I used it, I was on Ash's channel. And it was uh, very, 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 very easy. And it used to be harder when it was called like backstage or whatever. Now it's um seems to be very easy. Um with that said, I'm looking forward to that. I know what the game is. So I'm looking very forward to that. Guys, don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody, but the game will be not actually a GBA game. It'll be an Atari game. The game is Custer's Revenge. All right, Custer's Revenge. Everybody go practice Custer's Revenge in secret and then go participate in the open tundus. Yeah. Now, my big three button controller. I'm trying to skip the attraction mode. There you go. Start the timer. This intro has the same song as uh, uh, Kyoji no Hoshi, a baseball star, famous anime or whatever. And we're going to select Adventure Mode. Notice how there is no load, no password, no continue option. Yes, you, you have to call this the middle finger game. Everybody post random middle fingers. So here the main character is practicing with his mom, who is an orc, torturing him with suppression cures to make him like stronger over time or whatever. All of this is to rescue our dad. Now, many of you don't have a dad. Our kid here maybe has, and he is getting fucked in the ass by the guards that are shaped like shogi tiles in the castle of the evil syndicate, which is spelled like Cindy and then Kate ring. And I made up 0% of that. It is all in the comic book, which is full color spread inside of this manual that we translated on yesterday's stream and you can find the manual scans for this on Sega Retro. If you just Google Sega Retro Shogi no Hoshi, you will easily find the manual. Obi, welcome back. So this game's got insane funny cutscenes and she's just training us and gaslighting us. Is that using the term correctly? into um, going to rescue our dead. By the way, I saw, I didn't see enough hype about the fact that Jiggy is gonna be on my stream on Saturday. I'm a bit disappointed by chat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna give a shout out to Jiggy, just in case there's some people that do not know what the Sacred Olympus echelon, upper echelon top tiers of Twitch's retro category lie, just in case people don't know the tier list of Twitch's retro. Let me give a shout out to Jiggy. Just in case. Just in case. So now we enter this um, cross dressers shogi parlor and I've been struggling with uh, the pronouns I was using yesterday to refer to him with because I noticed at some point that he says Boku. Boku is like watashi in Japanese. It means I. It's something that you say to say you refer to yourself. But Boku is the male form of that. And you know, I would say that nobody fucking cares, but... Gotta pay respect to the pixels. 
Yeah, this game's charisma is off the charts. All right, here's the game. The music's cool. The the everything is cool. The music is low, but because the sound effects are extremely loud. Oh, I don't want to use any of those. Okay. Okay, so I have studied today about one hour or two on a nice channel from a Japanese dude, which made a, VTU, a, a YouTube series of lessons from 15 years ago, and they seem to be still the best content online to learn Shogi. I've tried another source that didn't like it. And I've learned some stuff. Some common sense stuff, some concepts. I know what a fork is. I know what a <coughs> skewer is. And other shit. I forgot the name of. <coughs> but while I was eating, while I was waiting for the chicken thighs to cook, and I was eating a little bit of cheese with peanuts and having a little beer. I don't like to drink before a stream, but I just had one half a liter of beer at 3.5%. So I watched the opening lesson. How do you do openings and shit like that? And it seems like I learned a lot. And the first move appears that you want to do is this. Uh, is this volume right? Do I want it to be louder? I kind of want the game to be louder. Anyways, you can see how the opponent did the same move. Right? So right now, sh he got fucking damaged, could eat my bishop. And you're watching this, and you have no fucking clue what's going on, but this is chess. Alright? You know this game. There's only a couple differences, and that's why there's a pain tutorial in chat. Feel free to ask me questions or ask questions in chat. I know one or two shogi experts are actually watching. Feel free to talk about food, your day, or whatever. I just need to focus on winning my first match and literally see what happens then. Somebody ban Rot King and impale his corpse at the bridge gate. Or, or demand an apology after grabbing his balls and pointing a skewer at it. <laughs> Spider-Man got impaled. My to Watch Street doesn't count. Watch Street doesn't count. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, what's up, Rod King? This game is awesome. So, this is a bishop. These are pawns. This is a rook. Then you have lands, knight, silver general, gold general. King, and then it's symmetrical. Golden General, Silver General, Knight, Rook, uh, Lens. The Lens is a unit that can only move straight. The Rook, you only have one Rook. This is the best unit in the game. It's just like the Rook in chess. The Bishop is also just like the Bishop in chess. The Pawns can only move once and straight. They cannot diagonally eat like in chess. The King moves like the King in chess. The knight moves like the knight in chess, but only forwards. Only ever forwards. So this knight can only move here or there. And if it moves there, then it can only move here and so on. The gold general and silver general are both nerfed, weaker versions of the king. Look it up on the tutorial. Jimmy Cubalds wants to alert us of the fact that he has no balls, in fact, when he comes down to being a gamer because he will only care about the kind of video games that he will care about and, you know, they gotta be an 18-wheeler in it, an AK-47, or, you know, an invasion of a country which... You know, <laughs> why this? Why did I say that? Well, <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I just wanted to make fun of Rot uh, of of Jimmy Cubals. What's up, El Wifo? Um you play this in Yakuza? Sick. 
yeah, she, she's fucking hot in that ad. God damn, right? Yeah, this is something in common with what you guys call checkers. Because if one of the units gets in the last three rows, it gets to promote. And it's pretty simple what happens then. Again, I refer back to the pin comment. You read a shoggy manga? Ooh, it had some entire action. Eh. What's, uh, what's the manga called? Hmm. All right. So. I don't really have an opening, an opening, but I understand more about the game now. My goal today is just to defeat the first opponent. It's all I care about today is defeating the first fucking opponent. If I can just do that, I'll be very happy. So, just so we understand the opening and shit, right? So now we both open our bishops. The bishop is the second best unit in the game. You see these two units that are separated? Those are the strongest units. The most important ones, other than the king. Okay? So... Here is my silver general. I learned today that attacking with the silver general is better. And then you use your gold general to defend your king. Because a silver general can actually move diagonally backwards, which the golden general cannot. So it's easier to get around your own pawns like that. For that reason, also, moving this silver general here would be good, but if I do this, here's this. Check this out. If I do this, he's gonna eat my bishop. And the silver general cannot move left or right, so I cannot guard. That's the term. So right now, my bishop is guarded. So if he wants to trade bishops, we'll trade bishops. But if I move this there, I'm fucked. And then he takes my bishop for free. His bishop evolves. DG evolves. And it's fucked up. So, what I can do instead, also, is move this pawn here. Then the bishop would have to go through this first. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move this here. I don't know if this is like a, this is, this is a strat that... You know? Because now my bishop here is guarded by this knight. And then I'm gonna do this. This is not shit I studied, this is probably bad. But hey, looks like uh, he's copying me. After freeing up the rook, though. Okay. Okay. I kinda wanna get my rook out as well, but... Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Kinda wanna copy and understand his moves as well. All right. Let me do this. Okay, he advances with the gold general. All right. I'm gonna do some of the same, kind of. I'm advanced with the silver general. Show Shogi. <laughs> what? Uh, now, I didn't see his move, but if I look at the bottom left, I know that his last move was moving the gold general. Right. So, something you might not know about this game is that when you capture a unit, it stays in your stash and you can play it anywhere in the field. So, having your king neatly guarded in some way is important. Right. Now... Just move this, whatever. Learning openings, the opening flow, the basic opening flow, like 90% of Shogi matches have the same opening. Will be something that I'll try to get down maybe next week. Oh, and by the way, I said I wouldn't stream on Sunday because guess what? It's fucking Easter, right? But I don't know. That's not sure. However, I'll stream now. I will not stream tomorrow. I will stream Saturday at 8 p.m. Jack, 71 months. Thank you, Jack. So many subscriptions and shit today. And I'm playing Shoggy. This is like... 
I mean, now it's Jack, but other than that, it makes me very happy. That's the Lord's Day, bruh. <laughs> I'll compete against that too, Jimmy! How about that? Nothing can stop my fucking stroll through Japanese Mega Drive games! Learning obscure fucking Japanese Domino's games! That ain't gonna stop me! Fuck is that towel we foe? Oh, that's uh, a lantern. <laughs> Whack Sabbath, Ethan. Hey, no religion. We're just uh, having fun here. We're having fun. <laughs> just having fun here. So right now, if I wanted, I could actually move this pawn forward and expose my bishop because my bishop's being guarded by my silver general. You know. So for the fuck of it, I might just do that. Mm, do I want to? I'm not sure. Let me get my situation out here, you know. So I was really fascinated today when I learned from uh, that guy. What's that dude's name that does the sick ass tutorials? Like you guys, I'm going to link this in chat because nobody's going to care, especially not during the stream. But I've been raving about this guy on my Discord today. At Discord.gg slash go to the, there's a lot of food. Good food shit. Hidachi. Hidachi. That's the, the dude. This Japanese dude with near perfect English from 15 years ago is probably dead now. Probably died jerking off to some fucking porno game. But uh, his tutorials are godlike. Really enthralling, no fat, good at teaching, make it, makes you guess if you understand shit. So, I, when I learned that the Silver General is best suited for attack and the Gold General is best suited for defense, I was like, oh, you know, I was really, oh, really excited about that. All right. <laughs> my knight's still guarding my bishop, so that's kind of fine. If I want to do, like, this. Alright. I'm gonna get so fuck. Whoa! <gasps> oh! Oh! Shit! Ah! Ah! Okay, so not having a unit here anymore, where I have my finger, was a huge mistake. Because now this is a check. It's a checkmate, right? on the king. So I'm forced to move the king. Or... You know... I could do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. It's, it's, I still That still doesn't click in my brain very well. Oh, what's she up to? What is he up to? So we traded bishops. What is... The, she just played the bishop back. You just traded the bishop back and I have no defense against it now. So I'm actually forced to... So here's the thing, when you eat a unit, now I can, you know, I ate the bishop. I can now play this bishop anywhere I want. Anywhere I want. Except, as you can see, if you play in the last three lines, it does not instantly promote. But it will after that. So this sucks. <laughs> this sucks big time. Amigos. Because now that lands is kind of fucked. Even if I try and save it like this, he can move here and then evolve the bishop, and then I'm fucked anyway. So this is bad no matter what. See, I left my king exposed for one second with that fork, and that was bad. I feel like I want to already restart. Because I feel like I made a big mistake and I want to reset. You know? Now, normally, that's a bitch move in my book. Normally, resetting like that is a bitch move. However, 
in the big brain effort of learning Shoggy for what is the only Shoggy game on the Mega Drive, I feel like mastering to some beginner's degree or opening is very important. And because this is the first opponent, we can easily just reset, reset. However, I could have just given up instead, you know? But that's okay. Now we can quickly just replay the same moves, really. And change our play from earlier. Boom. Yeah, Mr. Lalkins, what's up? Indeed. What's up, Sonicus? He moved the bishop there. I don't know why. If it's a um, pawn here, I'll just punish. Uh, that pawn is guarded, the term is, by my bishop. So that's fine. So I was trying to get this silver... You know what? Before I move that silver guy forwards, I want to move my golden guy there. Move my king here. That way, the golden general is kind of guarding the king, and then it sort of makes more sense moving my silver general forwards. What's up, Extrude Rex? You hit the general pieces to trip you up. Wait, I already. I've been playing this for like four hours. I already remember the way they move. What do you mean? Surely you don't mean like. I understood it. Cool. We don't want that king to be sitting there too much, though. So here's what we're gonna do. Notice how the AI is protecting the king? That's called, like, castling the king. Right, so this is a nice formation, I feel, this trident. The golden generals cannot move diagonally backwards. They cannot move diagonally backwards. They can, however, move any other tile. So this formation, I like it. Safe. The silver general can move like the king as well, except on its sides and backwards. Hard to make good use of them. I learned from that expert whose link from 15 years ago I link, I pasted in chat that silver generals are more suited to attack because they can more easily navigate through your own pawns because they can move diagonally backwards. So the golden generals are mostly used for defense as opposed to, the, to those. Cool. Um... Not sure how I would use this silver general in this instance, but um, I feel like I can get this freaking horse here, so that pawn cannot move there. Yeah, makes sense, right? That was like a aha moment for me today, literally minutes before the stream. Okay, I'm pretty satisfied so far by everything. Thank you guys for showing up, being my stream and all that shit while I learned Shoggy. Now we gotta fuck this guy up! No matter what! The bishop can do all that shit, all that trash. I'll try and get balls here. Whoa! I fucked up. I fucked up so much. I... blocked my own bishop from doing that. And then having moved my silver general there, you know, that was also fucked up. So now, this is bad. I can't even punish that directly. There is something I can do, which is kind of cheating. And of course, I could move the horse, like here. And then, you know, he has to eat my bishop, and I have to hit, eat her bishop, his bishop back. But what, I can, what I can do in this game is use the fan. The fan is an undo button. Undo button for one turn. 
That's right. So. Absolutely keep that silver guy there instead. And... Let me do this. I kind of want to escape sideways with my bishop. So now I could move my bishop here. That's that seems like a nice move. Hmm. Well, that rook's gonna be a trouble. Make her later though. I kind of gotta free my own rook up and put him against his. Oh, another tip they give is not to have the rook, which is your best unit, close to the king. Pretty much. You don't want that to be a thing. Hmm. Alright. I'm really excited for Shogi chat. I know it's not gonna be like a big fucking chat engagement stream when I play this, but it's extremely exciting for me to learn a new game and apply it to a video game at the same time gives me this fucking unique sense of satisfaction. The fact that we know that this is the only one. It's added value. It's like it's like it's like it's already nostalgic. I've just started it's already nostalgic. So he moved the pawn here, which I find very curious. Now, this is a move that has a name that I forget the name of. But I intend to get good. Because otherwise, this game will never be beaten. So... Okay, so today I learned about Fork, Skewer, Discovery, Pin, and Defender. In this case... What is this noise? Loud bitches. Um, in this case... You know, you might want to eat the pawn with your own pawn, but then the lands here is defending. You know? And I cannot defend back with my lands because the bishop is in the way. So I'm going to do what is called a discovery, which basically is if I get the fucking bishop out of the way, leaves the path for my lands to attack if, if that ends up happening, right? Pretty much. So, what I want to do is just move the bishop. Literally... I'm just seeing if it's safe. Should be. There you go. Interesting. Okay, so he went for that. So I guess we're trading... Ooh, wait, no, I'm... Oh, fuck, I'm the sucker in this. How, okay, how did I fall for this? Okay, so I can eat the pawn with the lance, but then he takes my lance with his lance, and I can't fucking fire back at that. How was I so stupid? That's really the question I want to figure out the answer to. Well, I suppose all I need to do really is... Move one of the gold generals. Which I cannot move here. So... Yeah, that sucks. What's up, Kanki? Welcome back. I already used my undo button. That's the kind of shit I cannot afford to do, dude. Suspicious user, likely ban evader, restricted. What's up? You gonna donate some more dollars? You know that chat cannot see your message. 
you're actually creating entertainment for me. Thank you for coming back. So what do I do? Uh, piss. I think it's just fucked at this point. Show us the shadow users. Um, it's a dude called Goaty Robot. I don't like fucking robot. It's that guy that got banned the other day. I think people reported him and his Twitch account got banned. He went to complain in Charlie's Discord for no reason. Is there, is there, like, a fucking way I can get out of this? Yeah, get banned, bitch. Um, where's the permaban button? Wait, manage suspicious user. Um, there you go. I don't think I can handle this in any fashionable way. Mm. I mean, he took my he took my pawn. Yeah, I don't really have to deal with it right now. Because I can just chill, I guess. Uh, fuck. This is a bit, a bit, a bit difficult for me, chap. I never really played chess, you know, I never played, played chess. So now he's pinning my bishop. And I'm forced to move it here. I have no other option. Well, I could just kill that, as a matter of fact, with my knight. But then the rook would take it. And that would be bad. The AI in this is fucking supreme for, like, the first opponent. Yeah, look at that. Man! The fucking AI just pinned my bishop on the entirety of the board, dude. That's why you start off easy by advancing your pawns other than playing with your stupid fucking units, I suppose, huh? Look at this shit. Insane. What the fuck? Um, well. I give up. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, give me that. That should give me one more fan, right? Yeah. So I still got the fan. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. I wanna move my knights. Okay. Alright. Let's do it, let's move some fucking pawns! Yeah, you do that, I wanna do that too, fuck you! Castling my king and shit. You think you're cool doing that? Huh? I can do that shit too, man. I'ma win. I'ma win this first opponent. No matter, no matter what. 
I feel like if you're good at Shogi, you can beat this game in minutes, because... It's like it's gonna get- it's gonna be consistent. What the AI does. You know? Uh, mm, mm. Huh. Okay, so I move those. Um. Do I want to tighten this up on the left or what are we looking at? If I move this spawn there, I'm fucked. We've seen that before. I know this looks slow, but I'm, I'm actively learning. Don't look like much, but I am. Yeah, that won't do. I need to know that Yakuza had Shogi. Does he have Hanafuda as well? There's no Mega Drive Hanafuda games. Interestingly, that's not a thing. It does have Hanafuda. Like all of them. It's kind of sad that this is likely the only Shogi game we are gonna need to play, you know. But once you learn it, you just wanna play more. Silo, Ichikabu, what the fuck is that stuff? Wait, Japanese dick girls? You into that? Nice. Are we talking like achievements and trophy hunting and other shit like that? Dice game. Hmm. Man, fucking Yakuza is always like loaded with shit. I want to move this here. I kind of want to get my rook out a little bit. He moved the king there. That's something to pay attention to, you know? I also want to kind of move my king around in a safer way. A lot of with shit? You mean like negative shit? I don't... No, I don't think I'll ever play a Yakuza game, dude. If I play a Yakuza game, it'll be like when I would play a GTA uh, back then on PlayStation 2, man. I ain't ever gonna get a single main quest done on that shit. Just gonna go around, get stars, shoot shit, get cars, get cool bikes and shit. What's up, Cointon Goku? I'm never gonna do a mine quest. <laughs> I can't do that. Quick 16G, welcome back. I like Yakuza a lot more when I value time a lot less. Yeah. When I when it came under my radar, I was already like, okay, nope. I'm the kind of guy that grew up with Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. And hasn't played Baldur's Gate 3. You know what that means? <laughs> that means something. I don't know what, but it means something important. Okay, so... I could get my Rook out. I'm just not sure that's the right move. I do want to play this safe, though. I want to see what the fucking... Because the way I've been playing is I overextend myself. I try to go for shit, but I think you should be safe and not greedy at the beginning. When you see an opening later, sure. That ain't the case now. Oh yeah, for sure, Jimmy. They look amazing. It's just, you know... What am I gonna do? Not have a life and not do shit for six months playing a game? <laughs> I mean, you might think I'm the perfect person to do that, but... It's kind of a misconception. Okay, so pawns... Man, she's got, he's got the pawns all over the place. What is this shit? You know what I want to do? I want to move this knight. Because that would threaten that pawn. 
But I want to do it in a cool way. So I want to move my rook first. My king is nice and safe and castled. Ooh, threatening my rook with his bishop. Look at that. This is what's called a fork, everyone. A fork is when you attack two units with one unit. This bishop is forking on my rook and on my knight. My knight is defended. So that's okay. My rook is not. So what can I do is I could defend it, but exchanging a rook for a bishop is not good. The rook is more valuable. So the right move here is to move the rook away. And you know, I wanted to get it out. Getting back here would be a bitch move. So as a matter of fact, you know, there's a number of things I could do. I could just hide it here or even put it here. But I wanted to move this pawn forwards. By the way, middle thing again. So I'm actually gonna move the rook here. But then the bishop is threatening that, but then the lance is guarding that, you see? How cool this game is. Oh, I farted. I like this game a lot more than I like chess. I have to say. Now that pawn's gonna go and attack my rook. That's gonna be kind of nasty. See, I exposed my rook and I'm kind of paying for it. Not really paying shit just yet, but you know. Anywho's. Oh, I just fucked up. I fucked my own rook up. See that? Hey, um. Yeah, it was a big mistake. I have an undo button, and only one. I'm gonna use it. Is this how bad is this? This same this looks real bad. Hmm, maybe it's not that bad. That's his reaction. Okay. What's he gonna do now? He's he's trying to attack that with okay. That kind of makes fucking sense, you know? The AI is so good at this. Like, I'm not even joking. God damn. Goldie, question mark. Tell me if this an okay recipe for souls, question mark. Tomatoes, olive oil, fresh pressed garlic cloves. What do you mean four or five fresh pressed garlic cloves? First off, what does fresh pressed mean? Secondly, five garlic cloves? What are you gonna do, a garlic? Are you cooking a garlic thing? One tablespoon oregano with the wrong vowel, salt to taste, five question marks. Thanks for your opinion, full stop. My opinion is... No. Six tablespoon oil is a shitload. Yeah, that sounds like a shitload. We don't do tablespoons. We just eat where our ends. You want to make a normal, regular tomato sauce? First off, you have to become less American. I want you to do this and chant shit like, Mamma mia. Pasta, pecorino, parmigiano, mamma mia, che bel culo, mamma mia, porco dio. Become less American. Don't use the Kekona emote for one month. And then don't use garlic. You finally dice a fucking onion. Too much garlic, it was on YouTube. Yeah, dude, it was on the 18-wheeler channel. Thank you for a question. <laughs> Am I adding sugar to it? Nah. You're getting banned. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no garlic in tomato sauce, dude, unless it fucking calls for it, like marinara sauce. No garlic, the Genesis fine. No garlic. I fucking love garlic. But using garlic everywhere is a very American thing. I love garlic. It's my fucking. I wash my ass with garlic, dude. I fucking love garlic. Just no. <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> the base of Italian cuisine is the onion. It's not garlic. It's the fucking onion. You finally dice an onion. You put it there. The garlic adds a really distinct, strong flavor. When you use it, you use like one clove, maybe two, where the clove is the little thing, not the whole fucking plant. And then you remove it soon after. Does that make sense? Garlic is life. I agree. I rub my dick in garlic every day, Gonzo Wookie. But no. You use onion. A, a white onion, a blonde onion, not a red onion. You finally dice that shit. That's your basis. Olive oil and an onion. You make that, you know, braise a little bit, it becomes golden or whatever. Before it browns, you add the tomato sauce. You let that shit cook. You salt it. And then you, uh, when it's done, you turn off the heat, you add a few basil leaves. You know, and that's your basic ass tomato sauce. This this is video on YouTube. Why are you tapping like a fucking guy that puts butter and onion garlic in in it? Oh, this is the video? Oh, this is the video? Nice. Nice video, <laughs> Hey, nice video. Four ingredients in 50 minutes for the most iconic marinara sauce. Authentic Ita I bet your fucking ass this isn't even gonna be marinara. Also, you didn't mention it was marinara sauce, motherfucker. You just said sauce. If you, I, I literally said two minutes ago, two minutes ago I mentioned you don't put garlic in a tomato sauce unless it calls for it. And then I added like marinara sauce. Did I not say that shit? I said that shit. You omitted that. Because you didn't read the fucking title. You know why you didn't read the title? Because you're a hipster. And the title is in full caps lock. And if the title is going to be loud ass, you're going to be like, well, if you really want me to hear it, then I won't listen. Which is what seems to me like you're doing right now in the chat, Cointing Goku. Am I right or am I not right? Of sauce on the stove then this recipe is for you because no it's not because in 15 minutes you will be able to create one of the most authentic iconic flavorful one of the most flavorful italian dishes um oh look at the intro all right let's get started let's roast the intro parsley untoasted bread to get the best flavor from your sauce, there's a couple of key ingredients, and one of them is A hey, nice timing. Seth Ree, welcome back. Long time no see. Any more questions, uh, Koin Tengoku? I mean, I'm happy to answer every question ever pertaining, um, you know, that kind of shit. Shupert, hello there. The most iconic dump right before the stream. <laughs> Quit complaining, I'm American. <laughs> I'm complaining. I'm complaining. I'm complaining. Oh, uh, uh, quit complaining, I'm American. I'm not complaining about your shit. I'm literally complaining about you being American. That's the difference between you and me. You will not admit to your own racism. You will look up a marinara recipe and just put it in my face, the Italian streamer, calling it, hey, 
What about tomato sauce? Not saying, hey, Italian streamer that worked for years as a chef. Hey, what about marinara sauce? No, you'll see tomato sauce. And you expect me not to report you to the cops. But me, I'm a whole person. I'm going to be like, hey, stop being so American. Hello, Jesus on wheels. Hello, Yuge. Soon. Tartarus Leia, welcome back. Now, where were we? Oh, yes, the marinara sauce. Choosing the right type of tomatoes. So the right type of tomatoes. I'll show you which ones we use. You want to select some canned tomatoes that are called San Marzano. And now, the problem with that, chat, is that if you're American, my guess on the tomatoes that you can actually choose is going to be that they're all fucking shit. But this looks like a good choice. You know, that's a good variety of tomato, but you should not care about that. You know? What you should care probably is that the brand is not named after a Spice Girl. Maybe that would be your number one preoccupation. But number two preoccupation would be that it's actually tomatoes in a can like this. It's actually a good choice. It's not the bottle of glass with the mixed tomato fucking liquid in it, which is trash. It's actually tomatoes in it. And here. the San Marzano tomatoes have a lower acidity. The San Marzano, the San Marzano. The best choice is just whole peeled tomatoes. There you go. And these are usually Roma tomatoes or plum tomatoes, as they're often called. And this. Wait, did they, did they come with basil in it? That's shit. Roman? Give you a very nice sauce. Never so seen those here in then Rome. Thirdly, you can also use Interpol's jurisdiction here after the fan I will put ice cubes in wine. Um, no rue getting automated. But the sauce turns out great with the strained tomatoes as well. We'll start by pouring our tomatoes into a bowl. Um, you know, no rue. No, Rue, I just had to use the ad block term. It smells like nasty old Asian man. So that if anybody ever comes back into the stream and types, it smells like nasty old Asian man, it's gonna get blocked. Now, that's making you sound like a bigot to everybody else, and everybody else is gonna hate you. So let me clarify it. What you actually typed is it smells like nasty, nasty old Asian medicine, man. Somehow Twitch is not a fan of medicine. I guess America, am I right? And um, at block term, he didn't catch in that. So what's up, Noru? <laughs> <laughs> what's she doing with that? Oh, this is uh this is a both a good move and a bitch move. So There are two reasons why this is a bitch move and okay, this is a good move but also a bitch move and also a useless move. Let me explain. It's good that, you know, because you have a can of whole peeled tomatoes, you want to crunch them. But, so that's a good move. But it's a bitch move, because why not just do it with your own fucking hands? I mean, you know, if you're nasty doing that on video, just put on some fucking gloves. You don't need to use a fucking bug zapper to do that shit, right? Chunks in there for a nice rustic texture. Yes, you do want chunks in there for a nice texture, but you don't actually want the chunks in there, in my humble opinion, for a marinara sauce. So, uh, no. Mix it. Then we're going to add about five How big are those garlic cloves, dude? Of garlic, and you'll want is she a miniature woman or are those fucking garlic cloves huge as shit? And why is there a, a candle lit on your fucking shit? It's a kitchen. No fucking aroma candles. Oh my god, her knife is so small. To medium heat and finally chop these up <laughs> that gorgeous garlic flavor. <laughs> Look how much garlic that is! That's a fistful of garlic, dude! It's a fucking sh 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 oh. Next, heat your pan to 
to medium heat and pour in some olive oil and don't be shy with it. <laughs> five or six tablespoons or so is what you'll <laughs> Now add in your garlic, and you'll want to be careful with it and keep it moving around. Ah! <laughs> She's deep frying the garlic in olive oil, dude. She is deep frying the g fucking kilo of garlic. Look at that shit! That's all garlic! It's all garlic, dude, in oil! <laughs> oh, where is the tomato at, dude? <laughs> Now, at this stage, you can add oh. some salt or a little bit of chili pepper if you yeah. want to heat. <laughs> and the flavor... Chili pepper? Shut the fuck up, bitch. ...of this sauce is very <laughs> tomato-forward. It's much better. Yeah, it's... The consistency is different, and the tomato flavor is... What big. tomato flavor? It's all garlic. Does your garlic taste like water? Look at that shit. <laughs> it's all garlic, dude. The aroma in the candle is garlic. Yeah, it's actually garlic scented Gwyneth Paltrow pussy, I think. Oh, QM Squirrel. Nice first message. Welcome to the stream. What the fuck, dude? That this is why I ask. Yeah, I mean, do you need to know? Is this okay? I won't roast you in chat. Answer me, chat. I won't roast you. To all Americans, mostly, but everybody feel free to answer. Try to be honest. Like, this is probably the most replayed bit because people are like, what the fuck? So, if I wasn't reacting this strongly to this, would you think this was okay? Stir it gently. Like, does this look okay to you? Those chunk of... You can, you can look at the fucking onion and look and see at the onion color. It's so dark gold color that you can tell just from this screenshot that it's deep fried. Look at how much fucking oil is in there, dude. I mean, what you gonna do with this? This is a sauce for like fucking pasta and shit. God, fuck, dude. Fuck. What's up, Dr. Furious LOL? Welcome back. And let it simmer for about 15 minutes. God damn. You cannot, you're not supposed to fry in olive oil because it's a waste of money and olive oil. Olive oil is expensive. Seed oil is what you fry in, it gives less flavor. Olive oil, it's gonna add this bitter flavor and shit. You're not supposed to deep fry in it. You can fry uh, in olive oil, that's what we do. But when you have to use a lot of oil, we use seed oil in Italy, because it's a waste otherwise, you know? My fucking God, dude. Uh, mm, that's the seven chicken thighs I'm still adjusting. Uh, mm. What's up, Bangera? Looks terrible, too much oil, this is not okay. And the tomato flavor is Double the amount of tomato, maybe. No, no, totally. Let me tell you, this is so far off from being like a double amount. This is so far off from being a double amount than required of anything. Even the oregano that she added, even if it's shit, that is like to justify it. Let's ignore that she deep fried the garlic. Let's ignore that the garlic is so roughly chopped that you're gonna taste and bite and chew and notice the garlic with each and every bite. Let's ignore that. Just based on the quanti quantities alone, this is about fucking 5% of the tomato sauce that should have been used. And then you don't, you need a pot at that point. You need a fucking frying pan. You need a fucking pot at that point, dude. 15 minutes. It's much brighter. The consistency is different. And the tomato flavor is very much like, yes, we are in the house. And if you give us a little taste. <laughs> mm. <laughs> my <knee> figo. <laughs> After about 15 minutes, you'll see that the sauce separates and it's slow to come to oh, when you run a sauce. My cake. God. And if you like it a little thicker, let it simmer for another five or ten minutes. Can you imagine her breath? All that's left Look at that. Sh oh my God, that is so overcooked and crap. Now all that's left. That's both low quality pasta because it's too white. What is that shit? And it's overcooked to death. You can tell by the color and the sogginess and how soft and non-firm it is. It's the kind of shit you do at and it breaks. Is to make some tagliatelle and serve it or, up with some fresh basil or parsley. Garbage. Use any leftover sauce to dip your bread into 
or use it to level up your steak, chicken, or fish. Honest opinion, I don't know how to cook at all, so I'll probably just nod along but be confused. Listen, I understand. I like to roast and make fun of because making fun of shit things is good and I need to be able to laugh at this so I don't have to fucking call her uh She sucks. So instead I'll decide to make fun of it. But anyways, uh, I think it's just common sense at some point. Either you're completely useless at making food or um, it's just common sense at that point. Oh yeah, what about the butter, huh? What about the butter? I bet your husband's like 400 pounds and beats her. Um. <laughs> God damn, what tomato flavor, dude? My God. This looks better than the game. Nope. Nope. Well, Jimmy, was it magnifico? You like this woman, Jimmy? She put on fucking makeup and earrings and light up a pussy flavor candle uh, to show you how to deep fry red colored. Oregano flavor garlic. Is that so, Zenki? Is that so? Italy wear marinara sauce. One or two garlic cloves to make marinara. Yeah, but you need to make marinara. Not that's just fucking two spoons of sauce, dude. You need like a uh... what, wow, dude? If the garlic cloves are anything as close to that, one is too much. What the fuck do you guys have? Do you guys import your garlic cloves from fucking Chernobyl? What is this shit? Like, wh who the fuck did this? What? Why are they so big? I'm gonna show you my garlic cloves. Right? I'm gonna show you my garlic cloves right now. <laughs> Okay, that's the amount you're allowed to use. Hey, right? now to be fair, that's not a big one. There's bigger ones, you know, but. You know, it's garlic. It's garlic in Italy, dude. You want to use American garlic? Then fucking use giant sized tomatoes. Mr. Donation Guy 2024. <sighs> Likely ban evader restrict. Did you realize that um, I'm the only one that can read your messages because Twitch detects that you're rolling alt accounts? And uh, I'm not even going to acknowledge you at this point. Um, you know? Uh, somebody banned those, um, ban those accounts. Thank you. Can the mods see that? Can the mods see that dude? If so, please ban. Thanks. Uh, that's the only one. Yeah, okay. That's the, after that. I'm not even going to give the guy the attention. So yeah, maybe he uh, goes to jerk off. Caro991, Canadian here. 9991. That's a bit different. Those look pretty normal size. What the fuck is the deal with this huge garlic cloves, dude? What's the deal with that? She's way better than me at what? Not talking about... Okay, I can't say that. One time a recipe told me to put pasta water in the hot oil. <laughs> Man, you never let a drop of water come close to hot oil. I mean, yeah, but not the fucking super hot oil, right? It's dangerous. It's going to explode. Um, are you on a big, big garlic jam and jet boots? Yeah, big garlic. 
pretty much. <sighs> You'll see that the sauce separates and it's now the exact is on the D fair. They stand knocking a few months. Now, when I asked my mom about how she made this recipe, it was just one that she had in her head, and it was the same one that you don't add parsley to that, sure, nor no, basil. Those... It's just, it's literally just oregano. The one thing uh, I will give up that I was not expecting is that she actually got the ingredients right. Olive oil, garlic, tomato sauce, oregano. If you had anything else, you're a shithead. You deserve to drown while stepping on a Lego and seeing all your video games burn. So at least, you know, that. That's cool. Some people here don't even fucking get that right. But literally everything else was shit. What else I got here? I got some scalogno here. I just see my scalogno. I haven't opened it. Now, the timer is running here and I can't pause it. It's at 30 minutes. And, uh, you know, we actually want to play this out. So, fuck you guys. <laughs> Make some pick your paw. I don't know what that is, but that's the name of a friend of mine's restaurant, I think. No, but the stream's timer. What about it? Huh, Zanky? Huh? 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 What about it? Huh? I mean, um... Oh yeah, any good soup today, Zanky? <laughs> So, I was moving around a rook, and he is pushing a silver general towards my rook. That ain't good. Let me tell you. That's really bad. So, I think my rook now is fucked. And I will need to give it up anyways. This looks bad. I can't really save it, can I? You don't just move units forwards without them being defended or guarded. But like a general or whatever. Right now, yeah, this is pinned. He can take that. Let's say move it. Even if I move it, I would have to move it here and then the pawn can get it. Wait. Yeah, but if I get the pawn, then the silver general can move backwards and get it too. So, all in all, I fucked up big time. This is, I think, where we reset again. That was a big fuck up by me, chat. Yikes. Yep. Give up. Thanks for your time, weenie. You're welcome. What's a weenie? Is that what you call your penis? You had bad soup? Why would you have bad soup? Just add some fucking spice to it. And then it's good soup, right? Let's make some garlic soup, Spider-Man. God damn. Rice soup? Huh? So is this the opening that like, let me just at least like let me let me show you guys what this is supposed to look like. Ah not you you old hag Where's that um opening principles? Oh for fuck's sake A chocolate ad Alright welcome to the most ultim ultimate YouTuber Hidechi. I'll be talking about opening principles. First of all, how do you make your first move? Everything correctly subtitled in multiple languages, including Italian and Polish, 
despite the fact that the YouTuber is Japanese and the video is literally from 15 years ago. 15 years ago. How many possible moves do you have? Better webcam quality than Macaulay 45 still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. This is important. Five, twenty six, seven, eight, nine, and thirty. Thirty moves. Okay, thirty moves. Which one do you choose? Which one do you choose? The first move that is thought to be the best. Is this pawn seven? Did you, did you see that by the way? Did you see that? Mother brain, bring that back. That is thought to be the best is this pawn seven F. Oh. You know why? How many possible moves have increased? I mean, the moves that are now possible. Just watching this guy just lay down the shoggy title is the best fucking thing in the world. Possible. In the first move. He has an entire lesson dedicated to how to pick up the tiles and how to move them, even depending on the gravity of the moment, to create a tense atmosphere based on which tiles you're moving. So, like, if you're moving a fucking rook or a king around, it's going to be a way different flair of moving the tile around than moving a pawn. And I even learned that there's BM shit you can do. You can do, like, bad mannered shit. Like when you trade bishops, you can promote it. When it's useless to, it's considered rude. This is one of them, of course, but let's not count this. Yes, the bishop can go here, 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 and here. Is that it? No. Here too. Now you think that's all? No, the knight can move here. What's up, Killer Millerax? You are right, but that's not the case for me because I know those kanji. Um, but yeah, this is a Japanese-only game, so it doesn't matter. However, just to reiterate how this guy is the best YouTuber of all times, the best person to live on the YouTube platform, I've seen him on the one of the first lessons say that he has ordered a Western tile set for Shogi so that viewers would have an easier time understanding. But because he has ordered it online, it will take several days to arrive. So he has played Tombola. <laughs> makes six different moves possible by just moving a pawn. This is why it's thought to be the best for the first move. Around 90% of the professional games played in 2007 started with Pawn 7F. What's up, I beat best YouTuber of all time, so this is Boogie298. I think you misspelled Goti underscore the there. The rest are mainly Pawn 2F, which is also a good move because it advances the pawn on Rook's file to attack. And the third most is pawn 5f, especially when you play central rook. Man. I've also seen this and this. That's so satisfying just to hear, this, dude. This before, but they are very rare. Now, I'll talk about opening principles by showing an example of Yagura opening. Yagura opening starts with pawn 7f, pawn 8d. Alright. Eagle silver 6h. Now it starts getting too crazy for me. The first move was pawn 3d, don't go silver 6h. You're gonna lose your bishop. Yeah, anyway, that's, that's what I did earlier. Remember that? That happened to me 20 minutes ago. After silver 6h, white goes pawn 3d. Now you can exchange the bishops. But you don't want to do it. It's not a good idea to exchange the bishops. Because if you do... You've made only two moves here. Two moves. But white has made 
three moves. White. Like black and white swept. So Sax Saxon's actually very minimal for a guy that uh, I think is Japanese. You shouldn't exchange bishops unless you have a good reason to. Oh, by the way, when exchanging bishops, some people go like this. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh. It makes no difference to the game, but it's a rude thing to do. Don't do this. I'm gonna do that every time. I'm gonna do that every time. Anyway, you have to do something about this bishop. So you go pawn 6f. Yes. Silver 6e, pawn 5f, pawn 5t. I won't explain each of these moves one by one. Oh my god, look at this. Because I only want to talk about some of the principles. This is Hidachi's most important lesson as a beginner. That's why I'm watching it again, even after watching it one hour ago. Bishop 7 i so what's the setup here? The king is nicely tucked there. He's advancing with the silver and the gold once both. Where does he have the other silver guys here? Silver, silver, gold, gold. And the rook is on the other side, still hasn't moved his rook. The bishop just now starts to see some action. Hmm. Bishop 3a. Pawn 3f. On 40. Now, these 24 si moves are the basic procedure of piece structuring of the Agra opening. After this, it goes into various kinds of structure. I, 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 I kind of I, I see that, that this is the same shit that the AI does, right? So, this is the basic opening of any shoggy match. Strategies. So, I'll show one example. Man, I wish more people would chat in here. It's annoying having to regulate myself. People sad. Hey, what does that mean? Are you saying that my chat is dead? Hey, what does that mean? Hey, guys, what do you think that means? Is he calling my chat dead? I think he's saying that you guys are shit. It's calling you guys shit. Oh man, those seven chicken thighs. They're fermentating. My belly. Oh, now, let me talk about opening principles. First one is castle the king. When a king stays on 5i, we call it a sitting king. That's no good. And it's not good. A sitting king can easily be in danger in the end game. I'm a good student of Hidachi. If the opponent has gold and silver, see, it's dangerous. And second, Castle the king on the far side from your rook. You should keep away the king away from the rook, which is the key piece to attack and will surely be in the midst of fire. If they are near to each other, for instance, like this, they can be forked or if the rook was attacked, they can be forked. A fork is when a unit is attacking two units. In this case, this knight is attacking both the rook and the king. Or, if the rook was attacked and ran away, the king would be also in danger. And next principle is...
castle the king with three generals, gold, gold, mm. and silver. Okay? And also, team up the offense with rook, bishop, silver, and knight. You know,、mm. in the opening, a silver is offensive piece, and a gold is a defensive piece. Because a silver can move through the pawns. With a good mobility, a gold can't do that. Who farted? It can't go back. On the other hand, it can defend the king against enemies from various directions. That's all for this lesson. Goodbye. My god, did you guys fart? The alert didn't work? Hold on. Did I move the sound effect or whatever? What's going on? No, it's there. Why did this break? You happy now, Zenki? Thank you for the 50 bits! <laughs> Why is it broken? Why the fuck doesn't that shit work? This, I'm losing my mind over this. I need my 50 bits, you know? You guys might not know this, but I don't get the 50 bits if that sound doesn't play. What the fuck? I I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea why that doesn't work anymore. I literally haven't got a clue. The other alerts work. Right? Seemed to me like the other shit worked. Bits, these the bits, 50 bits. Hey, try with、uh, 800 bits. Maybe try 800 bits. You know? Yeah, Maurice, there you go. As a test, try 800 bits. No, don't fucking try 800 bits. Why does it work? <laughs> It fucking worked yesterday! It fucking worked yesterday! Why is it not working? Why did you try that? Did they change something with this fucking software?
800 bits. What is the fucking? I'm go. I'm going insane. How do you add a trick? Why is trigger a thing now? This d broke everything. Fucking streamer bot, dude. Where's the triggers? Stop giving me bits, Shadrach. What the fuck? Why are you guys giving me bits? I need to. Fa I'm farting so hard. Holy shit! Thank you for the bits. I beat. You dumb. What the fuck? Thanks. Hold on. I, it's, it's, I can't stream. How do you add triggers? Add a fucking trigger. Is it this test? Trigger Twitch cheer. That's not an option. Trigger is not an option. Are you fucking with me? This guy's fucking with me. Trigger is not an option. Trigger is not an option. Somebody ban Spider Man for being a miserable chap. Oh, this is Trigger and me, alright? Core. Test. Bits. 800. You're not supposed to have triggers here for this to work. Twitch chat here. Yeah, but that's not... That's not... Dude, I did this shit before they added this stupid, dumb, brain-dead, fucking, worthless trigger system. Can you see this shit? Why the fuck sh should I use this? And also, then, this shouldn't go here. This, as is, should go fucking here, in that case. Alright, well, uh, for the remainder of the stream, don't donate bits, unless you want me to be pissed about it. Uh, I beat, thank you for the 800 bits, there you go, let me manually trigger a fucking alert of a cool thing that happens that totally doesn't ruin the stream when it doesn't happen. It doesn't work! It doesn't- it doesn't- Do you see this shit? It doesn't fucking work! This is only sound! I didn't update- I fucking- this is- uh, this is an old shit. This is old shit. This is from ages ago that they added this. They added this shit ages. Oh, you're laughing your ass? Oh, okay, you're having fun. Wait, Zanky's thing worked? Why did Zanky's thing work? Oh, I added this. Makes sense. This is, this, this, this sucks. Why are you doing? Why are you?
Hey guys, catch the rat. Can you see where the rat is? Everybody, can you see where the rat is? Mr. Lorkins. Yes, that works. There's a shit fucking stream elements alert. The, the chakram logic is not here. It's here. It's not even here. It starts fucking here. You guys have no idea how complex this shit is. You think it's all... Yes, that works now! Thank you for the fucking 50 bits! You think this is... F you think this fucking stupid shit? I absolutely don't regret now. It's easy to automate when you guys toss your fucking hard-earned SpaghettiOs lunch money at me through Twitch's bit system. Supposed to put a trigger here? Or something? Okay, just to check it. Thank you, Mr. Lawkins, for the 100 bit. And I swear, if you guys, if you guys, if, if you guys trigger a hype train now, I'm gonna lose my shit. And I don't say that to be funny and make you do it. Don't fucking do it. I will leave. I will leave my room for five minutes until the hype train goes off. I will leave you on a black screen if you do that. See ya. Somebody ban Shadrock. Somebody ban Zanky. Zanky ban yourself. Ban Shadrock, then ban yourself. This is the new Twitch meta. Pretend that bit donations doesn't work, so people will donate to test it. Work for it. What's up, Mallet? Um, I would like to. I'd like to apologize to all of my fan base. It appears I am a IRL streamer now. It appears I'm an IRL streamer now. I have to thank donations. Uh,. I'd like to thank Shadrock for the 100 bits, I beat for the 800 bits, Zenki for the 50 bits, I beat again for the 800 bits, Mr. Lockins for the 16 bits, and I would like to thank Mr. Lockins for the 50 bits, and I would like to thank Mr. Lockins for the 100 bits, and I would like to thank I beat for the 16 bits, I'd like to thank Shadrock and Zenki for starting a hype train with 100 bits each, and then finally, I would like to thank I beat for gifting five subs to the channel, thank you for supporting. The comedian, also Connor man. Connor man, thank you for gifting us up. Very kind of you, Connor man. Right. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, you know, IRL stream. So, uh, okay, I'm gonna do squats now and uh, draw and write subscribers' names on my dick. You know? That's what I'm gonna do. Hey. Hey, the other day, a girl, I met a girl, right? I met a nice girl. She likes Majon tiles. She says the Majon tiles make, you know, she wants to eat them. You know, nice girl. But then, you know, she asked me, she says, Oh, so you're a streamer? Let me check your stream. Yeah, I never heard from her again. We never played the Majon game. My love story ended because of you guys' memes.
or PlayStation 1 pants. Mike Rina, thank you for the subscription. Thank you guys for supporting me through my just chatting segment of the stream. Nick, you have no idea how good those $2 chicken thighs were. I ate seven of them. My farts right now are more potent than a Diablo 2 poison Java zone. Hello, Fankill. What did you cook, Magrina? Okay, Spider-Man had some... Is this... Okay. Hype train success! That was a success? Okay. Spider-Man, I'm gonna open your chat. By the way, Spider-Man's profile on Twitch looks something like this. What is that? You said shit earlier, that was useful. You gave me like a tip. If it's a shit tip, I'm banning you. Uh, one bit minimum to the if else action. Where? Huh? Add a one bit minimum to the if else action. You trying to give me stream about advice? <laughs> yeah, give a tip to the streamer or get the fuck out. Uh, you made goulash? Nice. Did you put paprika in it and potatoes? What triggers? I don't have triggers! Do you see this fucking window up here is empty? Because I don't have triggers because they're a new thing I hate. Had to rewrite my entire fucking streamer bot action code base to use those instead. What do you mean at a one bit minimum to the if else action? So, like what? Oh, I that just I just right clicked on the fucking OBS preview instead of the streamer bot window. That just fucking. Okay, so Twitch, chat, cheer, this. That's it. That's it. All right, now all that we need to do is for somebody to give. Wait, 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 wait. Delete this. Okay, somebody do the 50 bit. Somebody give me f somebody give me 50 bits now. I'll give them back. I, I, I'll give them back. I promise. I will give them back. I promise, chat. I will give them back unless it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, you're on your own. <laughs> Why did he play? No, now he plays street. No, it plays. 
too many times. <laughs> Spider-Man, what have you done? Remove that? Okay, try again. Try 50 bits again. Spider-Man is gonna... Spider-Man is gonna refund any beat donated. It's gonna personally donate you directly through PayPal on your Twitch channel. Oh. Oh, oh, that's it? That's it? Oh. That was it? Spider-Man, I'm gonna make you a VIP. You're the only VIP of the chat, I think, that isn't banned from a house. Type something, type anything. Spider-Man, type something in chat. Good. Okay. That that's it. I took your badge away. That's that's all you get. You get one Joe Pesci emote as a VIP. Enjoy that moment. Screenshot it. Put it up your wall because that's gonna be your only VIP message ever. Uh, I I applaud your choice of messaging for your one and only VIP messaging. Thank you. By the way, <laughs> uh, thank you to Ibit, Zanki, and Ibit again for the 50 bit, and Ibit again for the 50 bit, man. Man, I hope StreamerBot launches another fucking update tomorrow that breaks everything, so, you know, I get three meals a day next month as well. This stream was a success. You know, fuck playing the game and wanting to beat the opponent that I want to beat. You know, and now I'm gonna take a break. How about that, huh, chat? <laughs> how about that, huh? I'm gonna take a break now, huh? Let me know how you feel about that in the comments down below. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I'm gonna plug my OnlyFans. Do I have a YouTube command or something? I'm gonna plug my shit. There you go. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I just need to take a piss. I'll be two minutes. Two minutes. I've been streaming for three hours. Give me two minutes.
I just went on eBay and bought myself a full-size cardboard figure of Sarah Michelle Gellar from the Buffy the Vampire Slayer set with all the donation monies that I got while I was fixing my streamer bot shit. Thank you so much, everybody, for the donations. <clears throat> Joel Volga, the best nickname today. Again, welcome back. Now, I believe I claimed that I would be the first opponent today. Now, my clock is at 40 minutes, so let me restart by giving up. But we rewatched the fucking tutorial on the openings. So that's cool. It's very nice. Uh, Migrina pressing a button there. Migrina, I mean, thank you for the subscription earlier, but. You can stick the watch streak right in your f Shh, Thank you so much, McGreen. I love you. <laughs> Terminator 2? Is that Shahid Ahmed or whatever? That's the wrong song. <laughs> All right. So what we what did we learn? That this is the first move to do? Yeah, no, that's a ring with the king tile on it, because that's the key item you need in the game, even in the manual, to rescue your dad that is getting sexually fucked by the guards that they're holding in prisoner is getting I'm gonna end it there. <laughs> I am gaining more unhingedness. But along with that, I'm gaining more self-control. I'm evolving as a... You might think now, wow, Godi, the streamer is rude, he's giving me the finger. No, I am just playing Shoggy. I'm just playing Shoggy. There you go, Rento gets it, Magrina gets it. Thank you, Magrina. Any suggestions for more animated emotes? I want to fill up this lot. Um, feel free to send me animated shit. I will put it up. Maybe. So, the opponent did that, which means they opened up their uh, thing. So, another good move could, could now be... I can't move this, because they did that. So, what's the next good move? Do we dare to copy that? That's fair, right? Fair. By the way, zero messages on YouTube chat. YouTube hates Shoggy. But they love to give me Spider-Man ads. What's the first move again that, like... That's not what they did, right? Yeah, but they did that, so... Yeah, what do you do then? Go Just keep moving the pawns? You're gonna lose your bishop. I know, I know. Anyway, after silver 6h, white goes pawn 3d. Now you can exchange the bishops. But you... It doesn't really say. We're just gonna keep it moving with the pawns and shit. I mean, I could get the rook out, but... Are you dumb being a YouTube reaction streamer? Hey, it's all for the sake of the Mega Droid game. Uh, do you realize that for the sake of playing Mega Drive games on stream, which is literally all I give a shit about, is um, um, I'm learning how to play Shoggy, and I've learned how to play Mahjong, and um, I'm now a professional ranked Mahjong player, and that's the only reason why I can sustain myself. That and uh, my setup on streamer bot breaking once a month. Damn, that's some crazy audio in my ears. What do you mean? The music? Or do you mean my amazing voice? <laughs> what's, uh, what's the matter? What's your ears? Okay, um... That last clip I played? Oh, the guy's uh, static? Yeah, that video's from 15 years ago. You know? Uh, 
Uh, okay, so we're kind of doing the same shit. He also moved the Golden Generals forwards. Okay. Put the silver shit forwards as well. I could do that. They, uh, he said, the, the he that she said you should defend with, like you should attack with. Uh, this, what was it about? What was the attack formation supposed to be? The rook, the bishop, the knight, and a silver, right? And then two gold, a silver to defend. Okay, just remember two gold and a silver to defend is a good play. That's okay. What's up, Biko? You missed the stream, man. How are you gonna do now? Your watch trick reset, dude. God damn. Does SDC have watch streaks? And if so, how many you have? <laughs> well, so hype SDC was playing those fucking RTSs. Now he's playing that fucking 3D Vampire the Masquerade shit, dude. God fucking damn it. Anyways. Uh, do people know about SDC in the chat? If not, good. It has to be preserved for a really niche, privileged audience. Fuck you guys. Um, so, two, two, two gold or silver. One gold, two gold. That's the silver. I'm gonna make space. For the king. Okay. So, because I want to play with my rook on the right, I'm just gonna try and, uh, and try to castle up my king to the left instead. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Biko. Now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking. Alright. Why is that guy coming for me like that? My lance is there. Alright. What's up, Rezups? Okay, so I have my formation kind of nicely uh, set up. I'm kind of trying to copy the opening from Hidechi a little bit. Your potato brain would never play this. I need action. This does not look... Uh, you need action? You need action, dude? You fucking need action? You need action? All right. All right. You need action? All right. All right. How about this for action? How about this? Are you ready for some action? Okay, how about this, huh? Nothing happened, by the way. Look cool, though. My new opponents, yeah, according to the manual, probably something like six or seven. That's a Mozer tune. Why are you wasting time setting this shit up? He's got like the rook here. What's he trying to do with that rook? I can punish. Huh. In my pawns are neatly placed. This is gonna be the first hand I play where it's gonna be up to the AI to fuck up for once. You know? Okay. I'm pretty excited about this. I am in a good spot. Um. The silver shit I could move forwards. 
the night as well. All right, I've learned what I had to do from Hirachi for now for today. Definitely want to advance with some of my shit. Where is uh, his bishop? Is all the way there. The bishop is attacking this pawn of mine. Doesn't really matter. My lance here is defending this pawn. So it's my king and this knight. So that's nice. And his move just now was moving the knight here from there. Okay, bitch. Ooh. Threatening my silver general, which are knights. That's not a bad move. But, <laughs> I mean. There you go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pin his, I'm gonna attack his knight. Now, what his knight can do after I do that is take my pawn. But then, I take his knight with my knight. So, he won't do that, because that's a bad move, right? Is there something I'm not seeing? No, that's the only thing. This is called a fork. But, I can prevent that. I don't think he's going to go through with it. But... This is interesting. So, of course, now taking the knight wouldn't be worth it because I would be trading a silver general, which is a more worthwhile unit. <sighs> Did you guys fart again? <sighs> oh, my God. That's vile. What do you guys eat? Fucking seven chicken thighs or some shit? Oh, install updates. Yeah, sure. Do that. God, that's rancid. Just have to eat seven of those. Okay, so this is not a very ideal situation for me. Like he's got the upper end just in this, because I have a unit doing nothing, which is better than his unit doing nothing. Like my unit that is doing nothing is a more worthwhile unit than his unit that's not doing anything. Anyways, Terminus Technicus. What did I see? The fork. Yeah, I studied, dude. Okay, and then he moved the bishop. Where to? Here? I wonder why even. What's the purpose? Still doing the same shit. I guess no purpose. Hmm. Interesting. It'll be interesting to shop. I think I have an idea. Get this pawn up here. Then if he overextends and kills it with mine, I'll take it with the silver general. Which is actually good for me. Although it, it would probably do this. Um, like if I move this here and he takes it with that and I take it with that. He can just move the golden general forward. But the silver general can go back here. Which is pretty neat. I should try this. Something I came up with. Okay. What's he going to do now? I would probably move. Maybe. Ooh, okay. Okay. So first blood, that is what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Oh. Okay, he played back the pawn. But look at this. I can just fucking go back there. <laughs> I could just go back there and be safe, dude. Ooh. 
Ooh, I, I, I outplayed the AI on something. That was dope. Well, nothing really happened. As a matter of fact, that was bad. Because now he did one more move than I did. But, you know... This is interesting, because now I get to replay this pawn, and no, I cannot play it here, of course. You can only... The thing is, I... Like, it, you can only have one pawn... I mean... Yeah, you can only have one pawn in each column. You cannot down... Put down a pawn... From... You know... But I... But, I, but, yeah, but I got pawn, so did he. I want to move this pawn forwards. I think. But I'll move the rook here first. Just in case. Okay, that does nothing. I'll move this pawn forwards. I have my reason. Also, this is the one that was being threatened and attacked by this knight. But uh, that this pawn was guarded by this knight, and now it is by this rook. But instead, I'm just going to move it forwards. And my reason for that... First, now I can move that knight forwards. But I don't want to. My reason for that is... That now, my silver general, if needed, can retreat here. That's my main reason for that. And now I have the rook here, which can threaten this column. And if I see a chance, that's what I should go for. Oh man, this is gonna be a slow one. Not being able, like this should be, this should go fast if you know Shogi, but who knows Shogi? <laughs> this is the lens. The lens only attacks straight up forwards. Um, they use my undo thing. Oh, I have two of those. I mean, I think the more you restart and give up, the more free undos you get. Might be easy like that. You just restart a bunch of times and you get 99 undos. I'd right, be right back running undo fans for the next 17 hours. Shoggy versus chess exist. <laughs> Shoggy versus chess versus Puyo versus Tedris, dude. Versus Mahjong versus basic gorillas. <laughs> Okie dokie. Ah. Uh, ha ha ha. I think I see a play. I think I see a play. If I move my pawn forwards, it might get eaten by that, but then I would eat it back with my rook, and that would be a freebie. Amazing play. Okay. Seems like the AI doesn't understand my huge brain plays, chat. It's up say Chow Tzu. I just big brain my opponent. Super Ninja Dance! Hello. I just big brain my opponent so hard, you wouldn't believe. Now, still the issue of that lands. Um, yes, Chad has kept up with my brain by breaking my alert system, then donating me a bunch of money that didn't go through the alerts, making me do shame squats in the just chatting category and then fixing my alerts. Thank you for the concern. Now, if I move this pawn forwards and it gets eaten, and I punish it with my lance, and he can punish it with that, so I think what I wanna do first is possibly this. Keeps moving the bishop back and forth to waste a turn. That's a good sign. Mahjong stream when? Super Ninja Dads, I have streamed over 234 hours of Mahjong on this channel on one Mega Drive game alone. 
which I wager is the longest Mega Try game to beat easily in the entire library. I played all the Mahjong games, but not nearly enough, for sure. But there's many more Mahjong games that have to show up. Mahjong Cop Ryu and Devil Mahjong Tower I haven't come out for the Mega Drive yet. Only Telltale Mahjong and Dial Q O Mawase, I think. Are those the only two Mahjong games I've streamed? Okay, so... What now? If I put this forward, he puts that forward, I eat it with the lance, he hits it with the lance, and then I eat the lance with the... That's, that's profit. That's gold. Look at this, look at this. That's Solitaire slash Shanghai Mahjong. Do you understand the meaning of part 31? Seven. Now tell me, does that look like? It's not too bad either. Does that look like solitary mahjong to you? Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Does that look like a guy playing solitary mahjong no, to you? Don't. Means you're not very good at it. Means you're full of shit and you don't know what you're talking about. If you knew how much you need... By the way, part 31 is only 149 hours in out of 234 hours total. If you knew how much straight up plain Mahjong you need to play in order to rank up enough in this game. In this game, you need to rank up from 10th Q to 9th Q to 8th Q to 7th Q to 6th Q, 5th, 4th, 2nd, 1st Q to 1st Dan. Yeah, that takes a long time. That takes a long ass time. And then after that, you need to rank up to second down, third down, fourth down, fifth down, six, seven, eight, ninth, tenth down, and finally matching rank. And the more you play, the more points you need to rank up to that shit. Glad we got that right. Thank you for... Thank you for bringing that up. <clears throat> I still have some garlic on the floor, by the way. I don't know what this stream is, but there's some garlic on my floor. <laughs> Which glasses style? Just eat some. I will eat one clove of garlic raw for a million bits. A million bits. A million bits or uh, 5,000 bits. <laughs> Struggling streamer baits the audience to, to buy more garlic cloves. Don't do that. Now, I think I'm in a great spot here because I'm attacking the side and I think it's winning. Raw garlic, say Chaozu. I've never eaten raw garlic. That sounds bad. So, I move this here. He moves that there. I punish with the lance. Wait, that's not right. So, this there. Then he gets that. Boom. I think this can work, but I have to see it in action. Because I got a pawn to play after that. That could work. Oh, he's not falling for that. 
He's doing the same shit to me. Wow. That's kind of wild. He's got the rook there, though. That's for some pawn. We have a town in Cali named Gilroy. It's where most of the garlic in the U.S. has grown. Is it that big? Why is it that big? You guys pump this shit with water? Is that why you use so much? It doesn't taste like shit. Stinking rose? I don't know what that is. Okay, I have to figure this out. Where's this bishop? Mm. Okay, I don't know why I did. Ooh, I forgot about promotion. <laughs> I forgot about promotion. Well, I have a fucking knight here. I don't see why that would be a good idea for him to do. <sighs> you can take my knight with the. Ooh. Or he could do that. Or he could do that. Now! I... Just see... I see something that I can do. I see a big play. Yeah, get my knight. I don't care. I'm gonna get your silver general from here. This silver general? No, I mean this knight. I'm gonna put this with my finger like this. I'm gonna put my my pawn here to go for that fucking knight. This silver knight cannot cannot attack me, this silver knight, because it can move to the sides. This is great. What? I already have a pawn on that. Oh! I can't do that. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hmm. What about here? I will get owned by the um, bishop. Man, why is the AI so good? Garlic and ice cream is fine. Huh? I didn't. I didn't read that. I. I my brain erased that part of the chat. Although I would probably eat there and try that. But anyways. Uh, I probably want to... No, no, Zanki. No, Zanki! The tutorial! Mom! I mean, mods! <laughs> um, shit. What do I do here? I think I have to let him take that shit now, huh? God damn. Wait! Oh! What if I put a uh, pawn here? Oh, this is a great play! Oh, I already have a pawn there. Having this pawn all the way back here was my biggest, my biggest mistake. Such a huge mistake. Huge mistake. Can I undo? What's my previous move? Yeah, it was the same con. Can I undo undo? No. 
Uh, uh, shit. <sighs> this undo was useless, by the way. I have to do the same stuff. Or I could move this there. It's probably a better move. Let's try that. Push comes to show we learned something. So he's still gonna put the... Oh, the bishop can take that. Okie dokie. Who won that exchange? It's even. Why are you doing this? Uh, I can post a tutorial. There you go. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wait, 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 with the message. Four minute tutorial. There you go. Pin that one. Uh, why is the AI giving me free pawns? I'm winning, by the way, chat. For the first time. Oh, this is a, oh, this is a knight. I thought, I thought this was a, oh, I thought this was a lance. Ah. Man, not having this pawn up here is really kicking my ass. Big time. But. but if I wanted to play a pawn here earlier, now I can actually play a lance there to attack the rook, the most important unit in the game. So if I put the lance here. He is going to either move the rook away. Or... Eat that and lose the rook. He's not going to do that. But doing that will save my knight. That's the thing. And then I can move my knight forward. Seems like a good move to me. Let's see how he's gonna follow my plan. <laughs> Is he stupid? Is he oh, why do I forget about promotion every single fucking time, dude? Wait, like, but I can just kill that shit with... Yeah, I see. I see the problem. Oh, the bishop! The bishop! Oh, the bishop, dude! Oh my god, this, this game is so much more big brain than chess. So much more, dude. You can't chase that! You can't chase it! Okay, that hurt. That legit hurt. I need my bishop. Need my bishop to be there. So it can kill the upgraded pawn. Porco di la madonna. He just played a lance in front of my room. I very much don't like that cause the rook is the best unit in the game and the lance is shaped like a big dick and like a big dick it just goes straight forward through the board unless you got a crook dick but then you be breaking breaking the rules of shoggy such a big brain game I cannot play Shoggy, my brain's not big enough. I decided that I'm gonna be shrinking my penis. 
Because I'm a male streamer, that it means I have two brains in my body. One is my upper brain, the other is my lower brain. It's my dick, and I'm gonna shrink my dick so that my other brain gets bigger so I can play Shoggy. And beat the Shoggy Mega Drag game on Twitch.tv so good in the score, and then maybe I'll be the first opponent. And finally, Twitch chat will clap me. Thank you. Thank you. Now let me keep getting destroyed. <laughs> Better singer than Shoggy player. Hire a shoggy expert on fiber to train with? How many of you think I should hire a shoggy expert to train with? Sounds like cheating. But maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play. Uh, dude. See, my silver general is in the way for my bishop to actually solve that problem for me. I can't give the rook away. That is the worst. But my rook is dead. There's no saving that rook. So whatever move I did, I'm going to try and undo. Yeah, it's just it's not going to help. <laughs> Wait, it kind of does. Because I was moving the king here so that the bishop could go there and then kill that, but... Okay, so the opponent has two lances. Only if streamed, of course. Oh, it was going to be for content all the, the entire time, Mallet. It was going to be for content. Um, If I eat this, it's just going to bring back that lance again. That's savage. Lances are way more savage than I thought. So, my play here is actually this. It could be that, but I'm really looking to defend my rook here. What's he gonna do now? What's he gonna do now? Oh! Why did he do that? What is Spider-Man Lincoln? You did you? Oh, no results on Fiverr for Shoggy. <laughs> Damn. Somebody donates a million dollar. Maybe I could afford a lesson from Hidechi if he's still alive after 15 years of uploading that. So he did that. I see why that's good for him to do. I can see that. And I'm going to react to it. Like this. Which I think is a good play, right? Either he moves the rook now or he loses. Why did he do that? Oh, because it's now it's checkmate. I'm stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. I always forget about the king. I always forget about the most, literally the most important thing in the game. Literally the most important thing in the game. I forget about it constantly. Well. It kind of went good at the beginning, though. We're making some sort of progress. I'm going to play this out a little bit more. Okay, so... Is he finally playing to my evil plan? Why did he do that? That's good for me. I can take that. I can take that for free. I can take his rook. Holy shit, what's going on? Why did the AI do that move? Why did the AI just... Well, if I take his rook, it's going to take my rook. Huh. Let's see how it is. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, <laughs> but the thing is, at least they won't eat that pawn, so I still get a free pawn myself. Isn't that right? All I can get are pawns, that's not very good. Huh. Ooh, this is bad. This could easily go and, like, evolve and shit. Mm. Yeah, we're fucked. That's just gonna fuck us. However, yeah. No, I'm fucked. He cleared up my left column. I didn't clear up his left column here, so... Yeah, sha. However, I mean, if I move the Silver General here, I am not going to be able to cover this one spot. But I could put a pawn down here next turn. You know what I mean? If I move the Silver General here and he moves the tower here and then has he promoted, next turn he can move here, 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 here. Seems like I can deal with that. Can I not? If I'm right, it's not even gonna move the rook. If I'm right, because the AI is very advanced. Yep. Instead, it's gonna fuck my own rook. And we're back to this position, which we've seen before. Except. Nope. Alright, well. The only thing I can do here to prevent him from eating my rook is forcing him to, like, save his by putting a pawn in front of his. Mm. See, this was a silver general. I could attack his king now with a pawn position here, which I could do. So I can still prevent this. I'm going to try and save my rook. Let's do this. Fuck it. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Oh! Trading rooks? Wild! Alright! Ooh, it's got that lance now. Fuck. That lance will eat my knight for free. Unless he has an even better move. Nope. We are screwed. We're utterly fucked. I will fork here with the rook. So at least he can't eat the lands for free. Oh my god, it's got. Well, oh, ooh, ah, ah, well, <laughs> well, that's nasty, uh, <laughs> it's really nasty now, uh, <laughs> fuck, I mean, shit, I mean, god damn, I mean, holy fucking shit, why is the AI so good? What the fuck? Alright, I got two pawns, I got two pawns, two prawns? That lens there, now nah, it's just there to fuck with me. Oh my god. Yeah, but the timer is 60 minutes. Right, Zenki? Um. I'm considering my slickest options right now. Such as putting a pawn here. I mean, I don't have to do shit about this. If he eats that, oh well, if he eats that, I punish. That, that there is a defense, it's not an attack from him. So I'm gonna leave it there, and instead I'm gonna go for an offense myself. How about that, huh? Which is gonna consist of just moving this pawn forwards. 
you ever buy a mahjong set? Yes, I have a mahjong set. It smells like ancient lung cancer and seven stars. Yeah, the music's composed by this girl that made just board games, mostly shogi for home data. And there's a video of a concert of her band where she's like the second rate a vocalist. The other songs we seen in the exhibition match are really cool too. The composition that then you rhythm handle on home data side of things is kind of eh. The, the, the music is a banger, I agree. I'ma, I'ma, I'ma do this. I think I got this. That single prone on the left, dude. Oh, I just realized. The knight is going to be able to stop that prawn. So that's not a smart thing. I just did. At all. However, I can then put another prone down. Can I not? Oh, this fucker is going to be able to evolve that shit if he wants to. <sighs> Shoggy sets on Amazon for less than 20 euro. Now what would I do with it? We'll see. Pure magic music. Mm, man, I have a big one coming. Uh, I'll hold on. This this cannot happen here. Use them in a shogi video. I would, but I'm trying to get l more than five views on my videos. At least more than five, Zenki. So that won't work. Can somebody post a message in YouTube chat? Does that shit work? Maybe I opened the wrong chat. YouTube streaming is real at like that. Okay, so... I think I want to persist with my idea here. Take it with the knight. I'll just put another pawn down. That's my plan. You know? Okay. So, what I can do now, chat, is this. Now, he either loses the... He should not even move that knight. Because if he moves it, the only place where he can move it, it will be taken by my other pawn back down. Okay. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> That's really fucked, but here I go. Thank you, Funbot2 and Zenki the Majin in YouTube chat. Ah, we're going all in. The fuck? My king is really well guarded. The rook, the bishop, the gold and silver generals are where my king is. He played a knight there. I mean, I can just do this. You know? What are you gonna do now, bitch? Huh? Are you gonna defend or are you gonna attack? What are you gonna do now? Oh, you gonna attack? You gonna take my golden jet? I could just kill that. I mean, the trade was in his favor. He killed my golden general, I just killed his knight. Not nearly as good. And he's playing that again to get that. My silver general, so I'm gonna put it here. If he promotes it, I can kill it with that same silver general just moved, so that's fine. 
He's probably gonna play the Rook now. Ooh, fuck. That's what I didn't want to happen. Wait. I mean, if I do that, he still has to defend. He's got no move to that. Baby Shoggy. I should play Baby Shoggy. What's Baby Shoggy? Um. <laughs> Fuck off with that shit. I think I'm onto, I'm onto something. I'm launching an attack. This is exciting. Looks like I'm losing, but I might be winning. Now, I want to keep my attack because I vanquished this attack here. That shit there is sort of under control. So... With this miserable pawn that has upgraded and can now move like a golden general, I could move this here. And then the golden general cannot go there, the silver general cannot go there. He's forced to do sh something about it. And whatever he does about it, he will lose a unit for free or, you know, defend it. I don't fucking... He's gonna lose something in trade of a pawn. That's not good for him. Now, an even uh, wilder move would be... To put down a uh, knight, I suppose. Then I would have two units in a nice spot. So that is what I'm going to do, chat. I'm gonna put a knight here. Tsume Shogi. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, that's the bishop. Well, why is that scary? That's not scary. I I can defend. I'm defending that pawn, and I'm defending. It's it's four king on two units. I'm already defending. It's the link I posted. Oh, okay. This is a stream where I click links. Okay, nice. Does anybody want to post a link in chat? Oh yeah, I have no idea where that is. Maybe it's one of the options, but it doesn't really make sense. The options in the exhibition mode that has like six options. Maybe it's not just the rank or difficulty. One of those is secretly the Tsume Shogi. Or maybe they ran out of time and didn't put that in. That's an option. Unrealistic, but maybe Sega didn't catch on to that. Guys, I'm gonna go on undisturbed with my attack. Uh, this is pretty wild. But it's happening. Oh. Okay. Well, you can have my lands. I am about to fuck you in the ass. How about that? You ever thought about that? How I was gonna fuck you in the ass? You ever thought about that? Boom! What are you gonna do now, huh? What you gonna do when the shoggies come for you? Huh? Ooh. Well, you gonna move a pawn forward, dude? That's gonna be your move? For realsies? FR, FR, no cap? That's pretty mid, bro. Yo, I'm on TikTok now, bitch. Well, I could just move this there. That's 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 the move. Wait, no, that can go backwards. I hate this. <laughs> you need a long range unit for this shit, man. You kinda do. I'll I'll play this out. Ooh, the bishop though. I'm not as smart as I thought I was, chat. Turns out. However, sometimes I might just be even smarter than you might think. Because I think I came up with something pretty good. Right here. Right now. Double prong. Oh, it's taking a long time to do that stupid fucking move. It's actually a good move. God fucking damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Chess games and Mega Drive. I think there might be a Russian chess game that was homebrew. No official games, no. That's pretty wild that there's no chess game on Mega Drive, but there's a fucking Shogi game. Okay, so that silver general can hit, kill my knight, wherever I move it. 
So is it worth moving? I'm not sure. I also have a pawn. If I put a pawn... Ah, oh, fuck. I could put a third pawn here somewhere. You know, fuck it. I kind of wanted to uh, play a pawn here. But if I do it there, at pawns... Actually gonna survive that. Should have thought about that more, but that pawn's gonna survive that. Alright! Alright! Alright then! Alright! Alright! Okay. This is by far the farthest I've taken a match in my... <laughs> oh well, I just need to move it back, bitch. What about it, asshole? Man, he called reaching on me. Did you see that shit? Still have a rook? Yeah, that rook's kind of defending and shit. Uh, I mean, I could just kill that with my own king. No? What's guarding it? Yo, what's guarding that shit? Oh, the fucking knight. This is bad. Big time bad. By the way, there's an item that swaps the board between you and the opponent. I just want to win normally, legit. Anyhow, I'll take a short break. I've been streaming for uh, almost four hours. Um, it's almost midnight. Give me a couple of minutes to, you know, freshen up my butthole. I'm gonna take a bidet probably. And I will be right back. You have no idea how good the music I'm going to put is. Um, the music I'm going to put for the break is... This.
I made it back. I, I made it back. I made it back. I have great news. Great news. What glorious news. Beautiful news. What a news. What a news. Ah, uh, Goti underscore, congrats. You've been accepted to the YouTube Partner Program. You did it. Here's what comes next. Nothing at all. Uh, <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm back. Did you did you miss me? <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> Fuck. See, that works now. I fixed it all my own, Zanky. Thank you for the 130, bitch. Never stopped the timer, did I? Uh, the clock now is at seven minutes already, but whatever. Let's let's do this match. See how this goes. Um. Yeah, hold on, important text message. My life depends on this. It's about the chicken thighs, maybe. Good. Okay, so we came close to winning. Ideally, I would now win my first match without using any of the fancy items here. Just because, but... Let's try and get a setup which is very, very close to the one I was getting earlier. Which would be... Getting a nice defensive position and shit. came close we did we did come close I could have checked the king but it wasn't gonna go anywhere wasn't gonna go anywhere at all a big mistake that hurt me the most was never having the certain this this pawn in a nice spot that never happened why is he doing that Literally, why is it... Like, what? Why is that big attack happening? What's going on? When are you going to develop better units on Sunday? I don't know if I'm gonna stream, actually, yet. I still don't... How is... How... How could you slap? How could you slap me, sir? Why is this happening? How can she slap? How can she slap? I could have played it out, so actually, but that's fucked up. I felt I was too fucked up to entertain, but I, I should have played that out. I think I could have moved the bishop away, and then the only unit I could have eaten was my pawn, but I would have been punished by the lands. But still, he had my uh, general for free. Hmm. Yeah, the problem is that this is a shoggy game on Mega Drive, so all the AI have to be overpowered. Do you think that's it? I see. So now that I put that pawn there, which would block their bishop, I can get uh, some silver shit. Move it. Okay. Getting my pawns up. He's getting his defenses up as well. I'm gonna do the same shortly. Okay, Buster, I don't know what you're up to, but I don't fucking like it. Alright. There you go. Get cock blocked. Now. Ah, 
I can do that too. Ooh, bishop. The tiles starting to look green to you. Ah, uh, they kind of are. They have that gray to green shading to them. You know. Brute forcing along common play patterns is overpowering against novices. What do you mean, brute forcing, though? Uh, what did she? He, he moved the silver general. Might get that up there. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, I have no idea how they made these algorithms. Even shit like the Mahjong algorithms by Shot Noir back then it must have been so fucking insane to do whoever fucking programmed that shit in the assembly dude probably grew a third testicle at some point yeah different tiers of ai too that shit's wild insane I wanna get my pawn all the way here to bait the bishop. It's not like it's gonna get baited, but I just get this in, in a better position first. So I can't move this there, but I can do this. Pesky with the big gamer streak. Streaking. What's up, Pesky, bro? It's working with Chess AI in the uni. Man. I don't want to get into tic tac toe AI programming. Fuck that shit. Give me the game. Okay, he moved that. Alright. Man, my bishop is way too cock blocked right now. Way too cock blocked. Maybe. Ah, <sighs> not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. She can't move sideways. Fuck. Okay. Need to break my bishop free. There you go. Okay, what do you think you're doing? Like, let's be honest here. What what is he doing? If he takes that pawn and then I take that. Pawn, then he takes that general in my rook. So the play here is to put this there. But then that's cock blocking my bishop again. Damn it. Whatever. You had a galaxy brain friend. That helps. Uh, my bishop's supposed to defend. I think. I think. Whatever. I think I'll lead the bishop there at that point. Do whatever the fuck you want to do at this point, dude. I don't care. However, yeah, if you attack me, the bi this, I, I'm covered. I think on that side of things, I'm doing good. Right? Yeah, I don't see problems.
get this shit up there. Huh? Why do you want to? I guess you get a pawn out of it in the end, but why do you want to do that? Well, actually, I can just use a knight. The lance is better than the knight, is it not? Which has more value, the lance or the knight? Ah, uh, that website told me, right? Uh, where is that? Where's that website I was browsing to that? Does anybody know? Shoggy Harbor. Shoggy Harbor. I got better. I studied today, dude. Fucking studied. Okay, so the knight's a bit better. So she still trade the lance, not the knight. Easy to promote lance. The knight's kind of better because it, it's just better at attacking. It's not that big of a difference, but the points is just like a meme scheme. It's not an actual points, but depends, you know, the situations that differ. In this case, though, I just don't want to give my lance my lance away. I feel like I want to trade the knight and not the, fuck, not the fucking lance, but I could be very much wrong here. I think it's better if at least I try to keep this on equal grounds, even though it's got my pawn and that is an advantage. So, bring it. Wow. That's fucked up. What does what does that even do? Like why? It just gave me a pawn for free. Oh, I see why. I see exactly why. Yep. Now I cannot punish that. Fair. Uh, however, I can do this. Can I not? Yep. Yep. Three pawns for a lance. And now I'm screwed. Great. Shit. Do I cheat? Chat, do I cheat? Do I finally cheat today? Is, is it today the day I cheat? Suck on a cow? I'm gonna cheat. I just cheated. I just cheated. I took the board, I flipped it, and now was the wiser. I now get wrecked. You know? Get owned. Now, your pieces are my pieces. You know what I mean? I can take your bishop and shit. I'm gonna do that. There you go. Your bishop's mine. Okay, what are my pieces doing now? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> What's going on here? If I go there with the rook, he is going to have to eat it with that. Uh, I need some time to adjust because I have no idea what my board is like right now. TDX, NYC, 88, 9, 7, 2, 4, 20. Blaze it. What's going on? With the star maze. 100 bits. Thanks for the 100 bits. Um... Are the pawns? That's the silver general. Those were my tiles. So I have a nice, nice extra bishop I could attack with. By the way, there. 
Ooh, Bishop here would do some nice damage. Bishop here. That piece cannot go back. Ooh, I like that. Let's try that. Bishop here. Is he going to save the rook? He has to. Yep. Now I promote my bishop. The question is, what's the move? If I do this, the lance takes me. If I do this, the rook takes me. If I do this, I'm safe. If I do this, I'm safe. If I do this, I am dead. So where do I want to promote to? Here? Do I menace anything from here? Just that pawn? What about this spot? That pawn? That, that's at least a fork. Alright. Now we're talking. Ooh. See, this is working. Now... Bishop, bishop, bishop. Taking this would get me fucked by that. Taking this would get me fucked by that. Going here would be safe. Going here would not be safe. Going here would be safe too. And so it would be going here as a matter of fact. So do I attack this side or do I move over? I can definitely move here. This promoted, so uh, this is a promoted bishop. It can move like a bishop would and like a king would. A combination of the two. So I can move around by one unit and still do the bishop movement. I have so many moves. I could go here. Before you know it, I'm like attacking that shit. Or do I wanna fuck this up? I mean, if I do this, I'm gonna I'm bound to eat something. Uh, what's it gonna be though? Is he gonna move the silver shit and lose the rook? Let's check it out. He's got two lances, but it ain't gonna help him here, defensively. Okay, he's deciding to save the rook, but that's also defending the silver general. I'm learning a lot. Now, if I decide to attack that, uh, that's defended. So I have no actual aggressive move. So I can only just go back, pretty much. Wait, no, here. That's the safe one. Okay. Ooh. Really? These are the only two columns where I don't have a pawn. Can I threaten something here? Uh-uh. I, if I move the rook, you know, uh, I could. I need to move this rook here. It's very important. And I have my other bishop, too. I forget about that. I see it. Ooh. Nasty bitch. Well, that's why I have pawns. Asshole. What now? What now? This is huge. Look at that. A free lands, chat. That's a free fucking lands. Or a free... Oh, wait, wait a second. I need to save this bishop. This needs to go here. Hmm. Nice. Oh? Well, you know exactly what I'm going to do about that. However, I don't like that. Because I can take it and then can take the other one too. I don't like that. I don't like that. 
I don't like that. I don't like that fucking lens placement, dude. Shit. It's gonna eat that pawn. Yeah. Use the glasses. What's the best weapon game? What's the best weapon game? That? Oh, that's true. I should have done that sooner. Yeah. Ooh, pawn there. Well, that still favors me, you know? I mean, I'm gonna... Yeah. But I traded a lance for a pawn. It's going very well for me, chat. I'm winning. It cannot advance either, so very nice. This is where I. This is where I do this. I can't do this unless I purposely fuck up this pawn so that I can. And remember, I got this bishop here as well. This bishop right here. That's a thing. All right. I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. Looks like he fell for it. Delicious. Oh, that's a lance. I thought that was a fucking pawn. I didn't need to do that. Basil! Thank you, Basil, for the 269 bits. Appreciate it. So I could undo that move. Let me undo that move. Mm, thank you, Basil. Thank you, Basil. I wish you had Selena at 269. I don't know who that is. I invite you to donate those Selena bits to Hazemake history where that will indeed happen. Um, who's that? Isn't that what you're talking about? Doesn't that happen in Hazemake? Where's Hazemake game anyways? Uh, I have this lance that I can play and this might just win me the game, this Hazemake. So, uh, the idea is to play anything here, because he cannot punish that. Does that make sense? No! The Rook! Well, I can take the Rook. Alright, he didn't fall for that. Nice. Isn't that huge? Am I gonna win my first game, finally? Let's move the Rook forwards. Oh, let's move the Rook. Fucking bishop. If I had the rook here, that'd be much more of a huge deal. Fuck. This would be a waste. John Funk! Why are you playing with gravestones, damn weirdo? I know, right? I know. So, if I move this there, then it just takes it with the king, and I can do shit about it. Uh, if I take that, it's the same. That blasted rook, dude. That rook fucking suck. I'm gonna keep those there and see what else I can do. You know? Ooh, something like moving this fucking bishop here sounds like a great- Ah, what am I doing? That's a pawn from the opponent right there! I- did Tell me I have another fan. Oh, okay. I have one last fan. To cheat with. Okay, I'm cheating. Damn it. Stupid. Well, I can move it here. Ooh. Can I not? Am I gonna regret this? Ooh, that this 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 would be Ooh. Oh. Mmm. E. Oh. Ooh. Oh ho. 
Oho, oho, oho. Oh! 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 Scared? The king over there? Are you scared? Is that what's going on? Are you scared? And what about this? Wait, that's a silver general that cannot go backwards. Yeah, you cannot go there. Oh, the knight can. Oh, piss. Vomit and blood. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, let's see. Man, this knight's never moved. Once. The actual fuck? <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Rook here sounds like a bad idea. Actually, horrible idea. My Rook being pinned because of that is actually a big play for my opponent. The AI in this game, dude, is fucking too good. Sabrina, same. I still don't know that. Is that the TV show? Sabrina, the TV show. I go around and fuck with the rook. What do I do? Wait, that's a move I can do? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Give me that shit. Just, just scare the knight. Just scare the king. Hold on. Nope. Take this. That could be huge. You know? Base hole! You will never be a man. Kill her, kill her. Don't kill her! Don't do that! Don't... Perfectly executed basil. Thank you for torturing the streamer with 550 bits. I like to be tortured. Appreciate it. You played the melody and you sang over it too. Nice. Now, as I was drowning and almost dying, I was thinking that I could just move the rook in front of here and take that so that. Tell me, are we done yet? Spider-Man, thank you. Think it's fun to be roasted alive? Man, again, I'll be roasting you guys all the time, but that's Let me not not... I can play as if I was deaf and dumb. I can play if you was, had a gang war in the joint. That don't mean nothing to me. Whatever you want to do, I do it nice. And when I leave, I leave with the cash. Sacred Wards, Basil, thank you for the 250... 
Let me tell you a secret. I can play as if I was deaf and dumb. I can play if you was had a gang war in the joint. It don't mean nothing to me. Whatever you want to do, I do it nice. And when I leave, I leave with the cash. Music to my ears. Basol, thank you for the 250 bits. And Basol, thank you for the 250 bits. And Basol, thank you for the 600 bits. And Basol, thank you for the 550 bits. Ah! I didn't need to save because no risk of death. Don't you know I hold my breath during that for added Twitch value? Chakram's going really fast. That's true. Thank you for noticing that. The first person that notices it in... Uh, three years. <laughs> It was 2021 when we did a week of Xena. I know because it was 2022 when we did a week of Barbie with the same system. In fire was referring to fire. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm dead. I'm dead after. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. The way the fire actually extinguishes is because I breathe it in. So I have fire in my lungs. I can't breathe. Otherwise, I get lung cancer. Like the people that played this game back in 1991 by smoking, smoking stars, seven star cigarettes. Instead, I get lung cancer by breathing in fire. Because I think putting the fire to the cigarette and then inhaling the cigarette is for weak little bitches. What I do is I like to put the fire in my mouth directly. But not like those cheaters that you save states, the fire eaters down the streets. No. That's weak. I have to do that myself. Now, the play I was thinking of was to move my upgraded bishop here so that if my bishop can sacrifice itself to do this, then my rook can take that pawn. That could be a massive, massive uh, thing that happens. So I'm going to give myself that option and do this. Thank you, Basil, for a little bit. I, I uh, really appreciate that. Whoa! How's that supposed to scare me? Also, I could take the Rook. I could just take the Rook right now. I would lose my Bishop, but the Rook is more valuable. But I'm going to go along with my plan. This is exciting as shit. Wait. My plan sucks. Because if instead of using the king, he takes my bishop out. Oh, by the way, he cannot use the king. Because that's guarded by that. So what I was thinking is take, uh, you, you take do this. I was thinking to do this, right? But then he would... Uh, He'll, it is defending with that. It would take it with that. That kind of moves sideways, indeed. Or that. And then I would still have something guarding his pawn, which is what I was trying to prevent in the first place. Hmm. So I think at this point, we just take the rook. That's brain dead. Right, we're going to lose the bishop, but this is a big win. Huge win. Right? Huge win. This is huge. Alright, I lost the bishop. Fuck it. I got two motherfucking rooks, the best unit in the game. And I still have my bishop. And guess what? <laughs> oh, no, I can't use that. Well, I can play my rook right now, right there, and fuck this guy up for good. You know, I think the good spot to play this rook at would be here. I think I'm winning. This time, for sure, I'm gonna win. All right, sure, I cheated. Okay. Doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't matter. You know what I think about that? This. There you go. I'm not flipping you off. It's just a symbol for Shogi. When you go like this in Japan, they don't get offended. They'll be like, oh, no, I, I don't, I don't want to play Shogi. You go like this, no, I don't, don't want to play Shogi. You know? As a matter of fact, now in South Korea, in South Korea, when you want to marry a girl, you have to go 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 
in WhatsApp to her father's chat. So that way, you show him that you can micro all of your four control groups for your units, and he understands that he's being challenged to a game of StarCraft. Then, instead of saying just good luck, have fun at the beginning, GLHF, you say, GLHF, by the way, I want to marry your daughter. And then he's just going to say, kid, if you beat me in this best of seven, then you can marry my daughter. In Japan, all you do is just go to the father of the girl you like and you do this. And he's like, no, no, I don't want to play Shoggy. And then you go like, you don't understand your daughter. And he's like, okay, I accept the challenge. And then you got to beat them in Shoggy. Without cheating, though. I'm cheating, so I don't get to have sex after this. But that is the lore, the cultural aspect of what we're doing right now. That's it. That's, that's literally what's happening. So if I put this rook here, I have a free in on that. I wish I could raise the volume of that, but I cannot. No. How the fuck am I cheating? Uh, thank you, base for the 100 bits. These items. <laughs> I used the item, Biko, when I was in a shit spot. I used this item, and this switches... This flips the board, so I <laughs> we switch we switch the board, right? <laughs> Interestingly, we kept the stolen pieces on the sides, because those actually have a different power up that swaps those, which is this one. Just lose on purpose. Yeah, but there's gonna be multiple opponents, and you only have one of those. I don't think it's gonna get replenished after. We don't know. I just wanna beat one opponent to figure out what happens then. So if I can get that with the rook then my rook is gonna be there upgraded and safe and that is going to be fucking massive spritz you want to have a spritz dude you want to get fabi drunk it's gonna slur in there how you like your spritz april or campari or classic <sighs> Hold on, I need to wash down the seven chicken thighs, chap. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I almost did my probably first fucking spit take in 10 years reading that shit, motherfucker, Biko. It wasn't that funny, but the Minnesota Fats emote being weirdly sped up because that's how it came out. <laughs> I don't know how I fucking control myself not to speed that shit out. I, I swear. I swear. I was like, okay, it's, it's, yeah. then I saw the emote and I was dying. <laughs> I was dying when I saw that fucking emo there. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for the bits, Basil. What's wrong? Feeling cold feet? Nah, I'm just, just kidding. Okay, so the rook here is a massive play. Or even here, it doesn't matter. It's all about promoting it after killing this. Of course, his play then would be to move the rook there. But I can just move it here and, and fuck him up. This is huge. Uh, insane. Absolutely insane play. What you gonna do now? Okay. That was big brained. That was pretty fucking big brained. Not gonna lie. I didn't see that coming. Oh, I could do this and I would have a free bishop. As a matter of fact, if I cheat with this item after he steals my bishop, I will then have two bishops. By the way, the cat uh, kills the match and you have to start over. <laughs> so, uh, take my bishop, bitch. I don't care. I'm going to cheat and get both of them back. <laughs> it just occurred to me how easy it is to win the first match. But then you have no more any power-ups for later, so you're fucked. Well, hey, uh, you know, let's go. I have a promoted rook on their side. There's no way I can lose. 
no way I can fucking lose. And this is where I shine with my cheats. <laughs> <laughs> I got two rooks and two bishops that I can play while the rook is promoted, dude. Oh, oh, there's no way I'm gonna lose that shit now. No fucking way. As a matter of fact, I can straight up right now get that knight for free. And then he's forced to push his king back there. Man, his rook is gone. He's got no bishops. This is game. I fucking won my first match. I'm calling this. I won. I won. Okay, my bad. My bad. <laughs> my bad. So, when you promote most units, namely every unit that isn't a rook or a bishop, what happens is that even though the symbol is different, every unit that pro you promote is gonna be able to move just like a gold general can move. And a gold general can move here, 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 and here, but not downwards and diagonals. It cannot move to the diagonal behind of his. So that means my unit here being facing up, because it's my unit, cannot actually kill the king right there, because my unit cannot move there and there. That was Shogi with Godi. Godi! But still, I just have to do this now. His move was still pointless. All I need to do is this. To threaten the king, which is probably gonna move to the left now. Or back. And guess how I'm gonna win this chat? Putting a fucking bishop right here. Guess it just won their first game. Guess it just won their first fucking game right now. Right now. I did. Six hours in. Almost seven hours. Before the seven hours. Before the seven hours mark. Oh, what? What? Oh, shit. Couldn't do the sub seven hours. I figured that I, I can still win. I got another bishop. I got another bishop. It couldn't be sub seven hour, but who gives a shit? <laughs> who gives a shit? <sighs> uh. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna take this, and then he's gonna take it with. with What's he gonna do after? After this? And with finishing move? Oh yeah, you got, you got, you got a point there. Well, let me try using it now too. You know, normally I would get pissed because you're telling me what to do. But this finishing move is such a meme in the game, they don't tell you what it does, and then it does nothing at all, ever. The manual doesn't tell you your mom upgrades it for you when you return back to her instead of continuing. Okay, now I cannot kill the king right now. What I can do is I can put another fucking bishop here. And this is guarded by that, so it cannot eat that. All that the king will be able to do is move uh, there. Just go back. Like the king, if I do that move, the king can only go there. I mean, it, the king's moves will be this, that, and this. Well, not that. It would die there. So the king can only go here or there.
Should I try and promote my bishop? Oh, by the way, I have a gold general that I can play as well. And the move, I won. I almost won. So if I play the gold general here, the king is forced to move here. The king will have no more move than to do that. And then I can promote the bishop here. And that's how I win! Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, dude. That's it. That is it. Oh. 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 Guess you just won. Guess you just fucking won. Finally, by the way. Yeah, I mean, this is it. That's it. I wait. I just, I just won. No? I keep forgetting that my fucking gold gen this just doesn't move like that. I keep forgetting it doesn't move like that. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, that was, that was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. Uh, I still have an upgraded Rook. The problem is now he has two bishops to fuck with me. I mean, okay. Let's let's keep let's keep this up. Where do I want to move this rook? Do I want to? The rook is here, right? Do I want to move this rook here? It is defended here by this guy, or here where it's defended by this guy. If I move it here, the king's only move becomes to go here. If I move it here. He has more moves. He has that too. So I'll move the rook here. There's no way I'm not gonna win. Yeah, that was a forced move. And now, now he's fucked, right? I can't just move this here and promote it, but I can do this instead. It's just the same. And then I can, I cannot do that after. Well, yeah, because it's promoted after that. Is there a quicker way I can win? Yeah! <laughs> I just need to move my rook here! If I move my rook here, the king is blocked. The king can eat my rook and die to- Nope. This guy doesn't move like that. Let <laughs> me not make the same mistake fucking three times in a row, alright? Finally! Third time's the charm. Okay? Let's- let's just do-, do Wait. No promotion? Dude! Dude, where's my promotion? Huh? Where is my promotion? What happened to my promotion, dude? S somebody explained to me in Shoggy Rules why I wasn't allowed. Oh, oh, I'm so fucking dumb. Why am I so dumb? That's a golden general. It doesn't promote. The promotion I was expecting would have given it no new skills because the promoted units move just like golden general. Somehow, I'm so dumb that I thought after the promotion, he was actually going to be able to move in that one spot where it's not able to move. So what he did now was move this guy here, which I hate as a move. Oh my god. I have a rook here. I don't have to give a fuck. Right? <sighs> Platinum General. <sighs> I gotta win this shit, dude. 41 minutes. It's the fucking king, huh? Silver General can move there and there. So I could move a unit here and be safe. Isn't that, isn't that right? 
the golden general cannot go back. It can move like that and that. And the, the, the silver general, excuse me. The silver general can only move there or there. The gold general can only move there or forwards, but whatever. So that means I can put a unit there and be safe, which means I win. This time for sure. I just need to put a unit here and I win, dude. If I put my blasted goddamn fu Oh no, this guy doesn't move like that. I keep making the same mistake. That I could put my horse here. I got a knight. I could put a knight here. And go for that. But another place to put a knight here. And just be annoying here. I got my rook here still. Boom. Let's threaten the king. That would work if I had my rook here. This two was wrapped. Just whopped. Hitominton. Hello. Uh, there's so many moves I, I can do. What's my best move? There's no way I'm losing this at this point. There's no fucking way. Just trying to figure out what the best move is. So. Uh, I just put a pawn. Oh, I can't put a pawn. What can I? When can I put a pawn? I can only put a pawn in this column, and I can put a pawn in this column. To be honest, putting the pawn here would be really good. Would be very nice. Ciao. Hello there. What's going on? Um. I can put a pawn here and either then he's gonna be, you know, forced to... The move is to put a pawn here. If I put a pawn here, he will have to react to it. Because if he don't, I will eat it with my own pawn and then... Ooh, ooh. Hello there, little fuck. Because if he escapes after that, putting the pawn here with the king here, he's dead. Uh, here, he's dead. So the move is to put the pawn here. And then if he eats it with my pawn, I eat the pawn with my rook. And then, guess... I won! I won! I won! I'll, I'll fucking be amazed if he gets out of this one. I will be like... I, I hope he gets out of this one. Because that's going to be a huge learning moment for me. Think about this, okay? Follow me for one second and go through this again just one more time with me so you figure out and you understand I'm not insane. Right? I am pinning this pawn. This pawn is defended, but it's defended by the king. That's what I'm trying to get at anyway. So I put the pawn here to pin his pawn. And again, he has to react. That king is not getting out of there. If he goes there, my rook gets it. If he goes there, that shit gets it. That that king is not getting out of there. That's that's the move. Pawn here. He eats my pawn with his pawn. I hit his pawn with my rook and I win. That's checkmate. I'm confident. I'm a hundred percent sure. Oh. Now what? Now what? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You fucking lost. Yeah, that's right. You just fucking lost the game. You just fucking lost the game, huh? 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 No? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. I forgot that you can put down shit that you capture in this game. 
<laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So he's playing. He buffered with a pawn. I could take that pawn out, but that would just get my rook killed. However, I can just go back and repeat with my pawn. But then we're playing the game of infinity, huh? Shit! Retreat, weak. No suggestions! I have the perfect move. I take that. Then I can take that and I'm actually safe. I mean, you wanna- you wanna be stupid? Be stupid! Be, be stupid! You wanna be stupid? Be stupid! Now, let's take into account he has two bishops that he can play. My king is perfectly guarded, however. Nope. He is... He is. I mean, he could put a bishop here. See, when I'm actually starting to figure out that he has pieces to put down, it's where I'm starting to think like it's shogi and not just ch Japanese chess. He could put a bishop here, but then the king can eat it. This stop is this uh, tile is not defended by any other unit of his, so I'm pretty uh, safe here with my king. So I'm pretty sure that is indeed the move. Is that spot being guarded? Nope. I mean, his next stop at that point should be to move the golden general forwards, because then if I eat that too, he will punish me with a silver thing. Which surely at that point, I, I, I still win. I still win at that point. There's no stopping me, dude. There's no stopping me. I got two rooks. One of them is beyond your king's ass. What you gonna do? Your castle's falling down. Your castle's falling down. You play right into my hand. You did exactly what I expected you to do. You're a bitch now. You're a bitch. Okay. So. I should just sacrifice it. At this point. I should sacrifice the rook. They should make extraction shogi. We have to survive for a certain amount of time with shogi pieces. In yeah, what's this extraction? Like um, those uh, uh, PUBG games where the circle... Uh, what's the first game to do that? Was it PUBG? Even Fortnite has the... Hmm? I mean, they all have that, right? The kind of shit Dr. Disrespect plays. Even that fucking Valorant crap. Shoggy Royale. Oh yeah, Battle Royale is the... Why is it called Battle Royale? Was there a game that was called Battle Royale? Okay, uh, that, that's, that's, I, don't, I don't see how this can go any different. So let's, let's try and... It's a BR. Oh yeah, a BR. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, it's a BR. I understand. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's a BR. I understand. I understand. So let's let me let me go through this. I get that. I get that. And he eats it with that. Or he plays a bishop there. Which would be extremely dumb and stupid to do. I think. So I do this. He does this here. And suddenly. Suddenly he's fucked. Isn't it? So let's pretend that my rook is gone and this unit is there. That gold general is gone. So all these tiles are free. What's my next move? Just getting the rook here and winning. Isn't it? I don't even need that piece of shit. Isn't that it? So one last time. Rook on the Golden General. His Silver General on my Rook. So Silver General is out of position. My next move is moving my Rook here. So his Silver General is here. He is forced to <gasps> move his King, which he could do by killing my Rook because these motherfuckers cannot step on this block. Can you play a move? No, you would just hit the reset button. <laughs> 51 minutes. God damn. I gotta hurry up. Okay, so what if instead... This, there, this, there, 
this is good. What if instead I play this guy here? I still win. Because if he kills it, I get him with him. If he does this, I get him with him. If he does that, da 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 Huh? You giving up? You giving up? Who cares? What was that, a pawn? What the fuck did he get? Was that the lens? No, he doesn't have a lens. That was a pawn. Wait, he never moved that. Wait, is he smart? Or is he stupid? I can just do this now. So he didn't play into my hand. It is something entirely different. Huh. Well, now I play... Oh, what if the timer runs out, dude? 52... 53 minutes? Okay, so I play the rook, I move it here. This promotes, he kills it with... No, the silver shit doesn't move there, dude. That's the whole point. Alright, just play along. I don't want it to, to run out of time. Is he gonna even try and defend, or is he attacking? We, we went over this. We went over this. That don't work. That shit don't work. We went over this, dude. Hmm. Big whoop. Big fucking whoop. Ah, I'm just gonna move my fucking shit back, dude. Why do I have to fucking care? 53 minutes and a half. What's up, Rio? 53 minutes and a half. This shit again? I. You just stole him for time. Oh, no. Wait. Wait. Huh. Wait. Okay. I, I, see, I see what you're doing. Well played. Well played. We don't know, Mr. Lockins. Okay, hold on. I can't read chat. The timer's running out. Uh, the, 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 the thing is guarding. This is my only move. This is my only move. Uh, that's my only move. Hmm. I may have just lost the game. Wait. No, I can just fucking... I could just fucking win instead, you know? Oh. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you- I, I want the AI is tilting! The AI is tilting! Give me all the pieces for free! Try to make me panic and waste time! It's 55 minutes! Oh! Big whoop! Oh, I'm so scared! I'm so scared! It's a pawn! It's a pawn! Guess who just fucking won the game, bitch! Oh! Wait. Yeah. Oh! Checkmate! I didn't use a special move, but still. Still. Oh, Alright, everybody translate. You're not too bad yourself. Um. Oh, I get to pick a chest. Which one do you want, chat? Which one do you want? Type one, two, or three in chat. I'll let you. I'll let you get this. You got this. You want three? Get the translator up. Oh, poor. Hello there. That's a lot of threes. Not a two, stir. Let's go, three. What's that? That's bad.
Phone is useless in this game. Text goes by too fast. Oh, there you go, Zanki. There's your fucking stupid ass fucking puzzle game shit. And a new song. <laughs> uh, what's with the shit on the left? Do you know how, it, how this works already? Is that shit that the AI can play? So I have a rook, a promoted rook, and a promoted pawn, which works like a golden general. He has... a... knight, a king. Of course, my objective is gonna be to get the king. And by the way, I think she said that if I fail this, I have to go back. <laughs> uh, uh, a golden general and uh, what the fuck is that? A silver, a silver general. Wait, this is easy. I the first move is to get that. Uh, kill that, and it cannot punish me because I have the pawn to guard it. Easy. Well, there's no timer also. There's also gonna be no pastor, so even it's that I want to win, but if I lose, it's not like I don't get a pastor. I don't think there is pastors at least. There's no continue option, so. Um, I can get that, and uh, he can then escape with the knight, and this is the only. Well, no, actually, that's it. Why is this so easy? Is this that easy? Oh wait, it's got all those units he can play. 17 pawns. It's got infinite units to play. That means if I do that, he's gonna play some shit. Let's see just what happens. Wait, what if I press start? Nothing happens. Wait, what? Huh? 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 Why not? Oh, we need to open the, the manual. Isn't this the title? Isn't this the anime team? Finally, we got to the sumo levels here, yeah, but... I need to open the manual. This doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't I be able to kill that? Maybe the shit on the left is... Ah, fucking no. I fucking no. Okay, so where are these Tsuma levels? Let's see... There they are. That's the secret technique, doesn't really tell you what it does, I think. Alright. When interacting with an enemy, you may be forced to solve a Tsume Shogi problem. There are three, five, and seven sign language problems in the Tsume Shogi problem. Huh? And it's difficult to know which problem will appear depending on the content. Think carefully before pointing. I guess when we open the chest and it said three. Oh, yeah. That's okay. So when we open the chest, we basically rolled Shogi problem number three. And we could have rolled no shoggy problem at all. Yeah, in the exhibition mode, you can change the BGM, and this is probably changing after the opponent. So we could have rolled no shoggy thing, probably, because it gave us a bad jingle. So, how does this work? Does anybody know? It doesn't tell you anything else. It doesn't tell you shit! What is this symbols on the left? Okay, okay, so the opponent has all of that shit that it, it can play. That's about it. That's that's all we 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 okay okay that 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 that, that helped zero percent. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm not able to get that knight. I don't I don't understand. What's what's the matter? The screenshot and the manual is problem number five. You can tell on the bottom, at the top right. 
Oh yeah, Magrina. Sometimes they would have this contraption to cover the screen in America, and then they would have the camera balance to deal with that, and they would take these pictures on the CRT. Uh, some of those are more obvious. I mean, you couldn't, you, you know, what else were you gonna do? It's a capture card. You know, um, is it like that you have to lose zero units? That's that's gonna be it. You cannot lose units, and that's why. I mean, if it's a shoggy problem with force, it's. it's if you, I, can I not do a bad move? Sounds pretty good. Why is that allowed? What is this stupidity? What? Is the meme that I cannot kill the king? It, it has to be last? I don't... Man, I don't know there's too many problems. Um... Shoggy Tsuma problem. Mating problems. Worst case scenario. You have to mate your opponent. Even though he has his peace in hand. Force my mate problems with constant checks. They assume that the player is in brink mate and that they will lose unless they can. Unless they can force a mate sequence with a check on every move. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. So every move I must keep the king in check. So my next move should be this. Oh! It doesn't let me fuck it up. That's that, that's easy. You can brute force this crap. Why isn't this a move? What about this? Huh. Well, it can play the pieces in the hand. That's, that's the fucked up part. That's the fucked up part. Hello? That's a promoted rook, Yuga. Hello? Huh? 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 <laughs> Was that like a draw? Do that again, bitch. Oh, he played it differently. Wait, the king is not in check right now. Is that a failure? Because of that, the king is not in check. I think that's. I think that's bad. Why is it taking so long, though? Is that what you think is going on, Spider-Man? This is my second chance. Does that sound like a bad jingle to you guys? I'd. Okay, gotta keep the king in check at all times. 
understood. Possibly the final chance. Okay, the king put itself in check. Right now, by the way. You know? And I have a knight that I can do this with. So what I can do now is move to the right and no longer be in check. If he gives me the cross one more time, then I have no idea what's going on. Oh, it's gonna give me the cross again? But why? It changed? No, that is a rook. You bet your fucking ass that's a rook. That's the unpromoted rook now. Wasn't it? Did I did I fuck up and you were right? Oh, you were right. That was a promoted bishop. The Korean-looking tile is indeed a promoted bishop, Rento. You are correct. A big fish slap in the face, Merc style is now the board's changed. And it looks way harder. What the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? Isn't this gonna be an instant loss? Wait. I have to put this here for it not to be. Yeah, the tile set font is garbage in this game, I agree now. This has to be agreed. Okay, fucking bishop. Uh This this is what I need to do. Uh, yep. Did I, I think I... Why? What is going on? Am I winning? Am I losing? I can't tell if the jingle is happy or bad. Okay, let's not look at the actual problem on the right. I just want to read this shit. Uh, I'm not looking at this. Good luck reading that shit. Uh, so I have to find out how to achieve checkmate. Alright. What else? What is brinkmate? Huh. Are you fucking kidding me? No, on CRT, they just look as shit. They don't look better. The thing that shit looks better on CRT is a myth. Trust me. It looks cooler. It doesn't look better. Alright? Depends. Alright? If scanlines somehow make it better, then yeah. Like PC-88 games where there's a lot of vertical lines of graphics, like Zack 1, then yeah, the scanlines are gonna make it so much better. But this ain't it. And any other game that you heard that looks better than CRT is just, you know, yeah, but... It's not like you're missing out. Uh, an earlier, earlier mate, a premature ejaculation.
Is this supposed to be a three? I gotta check. I gotta mate in three. Work of art. Entering king. Mating with gold. I don't... I don't care about the strats, I just want to understand what the fuck this is culturally, right? Yeah, I want to understand the kanji on the top right of the game, right? So it's the kanji for the kanji for hand? Okay, hold on. This is a, a three... I'm trying to see if I find the same kanji sequence. I didn't mean to click brink, mate. De, de. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to Google that in Japanese. Um, hold on, just in case porn comes up. Okay. Um. Wait, what kanji is that again? That. No. Um. All right, game. All right. All right. You think I'm gonna stop there? Nope. I will fucking draw that shit. I guess that's the one, and then just this. Zoom it. Okay. So. Tetsume? Oh, three hands? Tsume? It's it's supposed to be in three hands? So, Tsume is... Mate, I guess. Hold on. Oh. This doesn't appear at all. No, not in the Brinkmate page. Oh. <sighs> stalemate. It's it means stalemate. Tezume. Tezume means stalemate, so... If I Google that... So this is a five move one, this is a three move one. So like I have to win in three moves, I, I gather. That's all I can gather. I have to, to win in three moves and each of those moves must cause a mate. Yeah, right? That's what I gather. I've been streaming for over five hours. I'm hell bent to see this through at least. And the puzzle is changing. That blows my mind. The board state with repeatable sequence of moves that caused her. I have no idea what you just said. Literally don't know what you said. I do not know. Silver. Jesus fuck. So I have a rook and a silver knight. An explanation? Tsume Shogi that can be solved in three moves. Okay. So it's something you solve in three moves, because it says three, it can be three, five, seven, and every move you do, their uh, enemy's king must be under attack, basically. So the only move that makes sense, that sad, is to put my silver general here. That's the only move. I mean, I could do all this, but I would lose a unit. I didn't realize that was a lens. Nor that that was going to happen. 
so I'm pretty sure I'm fucked, but... In three moves, you have to win in three moves or survive in three moves. You have to win, right? So right now, I'm 100% fucked in the ass. There's no way I'm doing shit. I could put the Rook here, and he would kill it with that, and then I can kill that with that, and he is still in mate. But that's my third and last move, and the King is alive. I could move this there, and same shit happens. Kills it with that, and then I have to lay down a thing, and nothing happens at all. So... Fuck, 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 fuck. Why is it quitting at move number two if I haven't? What well, I'm still checking the king. Does it just know that I cannot win? I suppose so. That's gonna be it seems to be very fucking arbitrary so I have a lance I have a pawn he has its king a silver general and a bishop remember he can play every unit from the game as well so I have a rook and a golden general so the bishop can do that or can do that and my pawn here could do that so if I if I kill the bishop if I, if I do that it's, it, I gotta put the king is not in check I gotta put the king in check I'm probably using the wrong terminology and I feel like you gotta do that with the rook or you could put a gold general here so you put the gold general here the king uh, might escape to the right. At which point you put a rook here and you win. How is this a challenge? How is this a challenge? I, I, I figured it out. I, 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 I figured it out. Oh, finally I won. Yeah, dude. That, that, that's, that's the move. Oh, he can escape there. Oh. Oh. I lost. So why doesn't he kill me? Maybe there's a still a winning move? So if I kill the bishop with the lance, he can just kill the king? The lance with the king, rather, and the king is no longer a mate. Uh, yeah, there's, like, nothing I can do that would uh, make that work. Uh, yeah, no. Nothing at all. Huh. I mean, what the fuck? What if I put the... Nope. Yeah, no, nothing. Why does it let me play? This is so arbitrary and confusing. But at least I get the rules now, I guess. I think. Yeah, this motherfucker can move there too. That ain't gonna work. Fuck. So this is my move number two of of three. Icarus, thank you for the raid. As usual, when we raid each other, the other guy is about to wrap up. I'm trying to here. I beat my first opponent ever in Shogi in this godforsaken game, which is cool. I'm learning Shogi. And now I am tasked with a puzzle where I have to win in three moves. I keep failing and he keeps giving me a different board. I have to win in three moves and during those three moves, the king must always be in check. Mate or whatever. Welcome, Icarus fans. Um, so right now, it's letting me do the second move, although I don't see this uh, working at all whatsoever. I don't. But, uh... <laughs> Lol. It's just, this is fucking up. 
Yeah, I found the Wikipedia page to even understand what I'm supposed to do, and I figured it out, but I still haven't figured out the actual puzzle, and it's let me try like five times now. I'm starting to wonder whether it's infinite until you get it. But I think judging from the cutscene dialogue, it's not. And it's literally gonna game me over game over me. Alright, so I'm just gonna do shit. That's, that doesn't even fucking compute, dude. Ugh. Well, I mean, I can do that, you know, and uh, the king is in May, so at least he lets me play. Nope. This must be like the fifth time I fuck it up, which might be enough to game me over. No, we get to play more, and now he has six units. And I only have a promoted pawn, a rook, and a golden knight. Limited amount for fairness? I don't know, but it seems to give us a bunch of tries. It doesn't seem like something I could take notes on. If you have to do this in between every opponent, I am starting to realize that this game may be even harder than I thought it would be. So, that is a uh, knight. That's our lance, that's the king, that's our pawn, this is the rook, this is the bishop. That's a hell of a, of a setup. But the king is trapped there, and I got this bitch here. So... I mean, I can't threaten this, it just eat me back. I have to play something. But... So, that something could be... Not the rook here, because it would get killed by that, and then the king wouldn't be in check anymore. So my only option seems to be the golden general to be played here. And then the king is dead, right? I mean, the knight could get my pawn, but then I could get the king. The king could get my golden general, but I would get him with my pawn. The king could escape here, but I would get it again with my <coughs> golden general. The bishop... Oh, the bishop... Oh. Oh. But do I understand the rules correctly? I looked at the Wikipedia page. Do I understand correctly? This is a question you can answer. Do I understand correctly that at every turn you must do your hand by leaving the king in check? Like if I do this, the king is not in check. Do I die? How does it work? It's like no good move. Okay, so I might do this. The bishop might get me. At which point I will kill the bishop and the king is in check again. But then the king can kill me and I have no answer for that. What about playing the rook somewhere? Ooh, forking? The rook here seems like it might be a better idea. Also, the knight could get that, but no. So if I put the rook here, the other rook can get me. Nah, man, this shit doesn't work. What the fuck? I, I, I can't move this. My first move in this part, I need to figure out this puzzle the hard way. The first move of this puzzle cannot be to move the pawn, which by the way is a promoted pawn and will move as a golden general. So this pawn can move everywhere around it, except here, and here. Sorry, here. The two diagonal backwards. Because if I just move it next to the king to mate it, the king can just kill it back. Although, that could be a bait. Like, move it here, the king is forced to do this. Because this... Oh, I guess the bishop can do that. Uh... What's up, young Bill in there? To say the fish city. Two pounds of snapper? Is that a lot? Two pounds? I ate seven chicken thighs that I had just cooked in three stages. I glazed, I marinated earlier. Man, those chicken thighs went through marinating, drying, frying pan, oven. 
out to be glazed back in the oven, dude. Man, I just had to eat seven of them and fart like a lord right now. I hope your fish was as good as my thighs were. Okay, uh, this puzzles, I feel like they will really, like, teach me how to play Shogi. Put the fucking rook, uh, fucking somewhere, man. I don't fucking know. And... Yeah. Okay, so, golden general here. Rook kills it. I kill the rook. The king kills me. And my third and final move is to put... What? A rook here? That's my third move. What happens then? Does he escape? Is that how it's... Or do I win? Do I need to kill... Does anybody know? You can answer me. In a Shogi Tsume puzzle, like this one, or anyone, do you need to kill the king? Or is it enough as it, if the end of your moves is always been in check? Do we need to kill him? I mean, you have to solve it. Yeah, you gotta checkmate the opponent's king. Does that mean you... Threatened? Oh, no possible escape. Okay, so that's not it. That will not be enough. God fucking damn it. Kofta? What's Kofta? So that's not it. That's not it. I need to I need to get the king. I need to get the king. Okay, so golden general. Golden general. Golden general here. I get killed by the bishop. I put my rook here. The bishop can't do shit about it. But I'm not checkmating I'm not mating the king. So that don't work. However, however, Golden General here, Bishop captures it. I put my fucking rook like a big dick. I put it here. You, you listen to this? I put it here. Well, then he gets me with the other rook, right? Yeah. That wouldn't work. Huh. How about I put my rook over here, first move, he kills it with his own rook, and I kill his rook with my pawn, then he gets my king, his king on it, and I'm fucking, you know, nothing happens. I can play my gold general, but... Wait, would that work? The king, okay. Pawn is gone. Uh, that is gone. Only the bishop and the king and this shit remains. So, I put my... This king is here. I have a golden general. I can put my golden general here. And he can just escape there and nothing happens. Do you have to keep the king in mate or check every single round? Or no? Constant checks. With a check on every move. This is fucking hard for a beginner. I, I'm not figuring this out yet. But I want to. This could be the last chance, so I don't want to give up and see if I get a better one. I have to guess this. I have to, I have to figure this out. I absolutely have to fucking realize how this works and win. I have a rook, a golden general, and a pawn. With these limited options and this a strong opposition, you will be like one way that I hope to find, right? But... I don't know what seemed to be the case. Uh, 
However, what if I just move my pawn here and sacrifice it to whatever? So I move my pawn here. He kills it, probably with a the bishop. Then I can put my fucking I don't know, rook here. Kills it with that. And now he's fucking closed. Closed doors. Now that shit would work, dude. Wait, the bishop there. Hold on. I may be onto something. I may be onto something. Pawn here. It kills with the bishop. And then I put the golden general here. No, that will still self enclose his own king. And that's not going to work. Okay. D take three. Pony he eats with the bishop. And then... Hear this. Hear this. Brook? Here. That's, that's, that's a check on the king. And he kills him with the rook. So, he has a rook here, a bishop here, and I have this. Nope. That won't work. Because I would have to put it here. And he can kill that with the rook. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Why is that rook a thing? I don't understand. By the way, it can also play all those plate pieces it has on the left. I'm not able to solve this puzzle, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? What if I start with like, uh, this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Rook here. He eats the rook with the rook. It's ob obligated to do so. I kill the rook with the pawn. And he kills my pawn with the king. I figured it out. I figured it out. I just figured. Nope. You can just retreat back there. And then I would have the Golden General. But still the threat of the Bishop. So I couldn't put the Golden General here. To actually succeed. Dude, I'm, I'm fucking... Dude, fucking shit. What is this? I thought I had figured it out. I thought I just had it. I just had figured it out. It's 1.25 in the morning. Just let me go offline, dude. My fucking reward came with such a big burden right now, chat. I don't know which ball to eradicate from my scrotum right now. Uh, big overtime, dude. Big overtime. Uh, golden General here. Nah, dude, I don't know how to do this shit. I just fucking know. Look at the way it picks up the tile like the Hadechi does on YouTube. Uh, hold on. Going insane, might as well do something. So the fact that's letting me play might mean there's there's a chance to do shit here that would work. I'm not I need to check the king, whatever I do. So if I move the pawn here, he will eat me, likely with the rook, and then I would just put this and, and lose. Or if I do try and play this first, I can play it here. Wait. Now the bishop's in the way. That's not even my last move. 
Wait, isn't that it though? Isn't this it? Then I move the point. I guess not. Okay, I got a new one. Oh, going insane, chat. So I got a promoted bishop, promoted pawn, uh, silver general, and a lance. And also a rook over here. This is gonna be easier or harder? Silver general as well. That's a knight. Well, I want to try this, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Fair. I, I got a rook. I could just fucking place the rook, like, here and shit. Then the king is forced to go here. Yeah, looks like that spot, man. Reminds me of Side Pocket 1, the game before Minnesota Fats, which is Side Pocket 2, where you would have to do a trick shot after the main mode opponents. And you have to memorize those trick shots from the trick shot mode, so. But if it gives us infinite continues, then I guess it's not too bad in the long run, right? So I'm thinking... To put a rook here. And then the king will be forced to move here. At which point... I can just fucking move the rook again, here. But then the king will escape, like, here. And then I put the rook here, and the king will escape here. And I lose. So just full rook isn't the play. However... What if I were to put a rook here? The king will still... would still escape... here. Or actually, yeah, no, here. He is in the range of fire of the bishop. The king will still escape here. And then I might... do this. I think I solved it. I think I figured it out. Oh! I guess I'm stupid as shit, chat. Because I'm just fucking stupid. I just, just. Why is it not. Why is it letting me play? There's no move that's gonna end well like this. This is so fucking confusing. There's no move. There's no move. Man, there's... I mean, there's a move to check him, but... That ain't gonna work. Oh, fuck. Why is it thinking so much, dude? <laughs> this is so confusing. The fucking game has to figure out whether I have a shot or not, but it takes like 20 seconds. <laughs> Rot King. <laughs> Eat shit. Uh, wait, that's his style? Man, how many of those are there? I can't solve a single one. That's a promoted... Which, which, does anybody know what unit is that? Is that a promoted rook? Is that a promoted rook? Does anybody know? You can tell me. It's a normal ass rook. That's gotta be. It's my only unit, dude. So if I do this, he's then obliged to move the king to eat it or go down. Uh, God fucking damn it. Okay, the first play has to be the rook or I lose a unit for free. However, if I put like a golden general here, okay, I could kill it with a silver general, right? 
that one. Prominent root, all right. He played a pawn? Really? You, a, a pawn, you played a pawn. You just played a fucking pawn. What's up, Agent of the Oreos? Very late, very late. Not supposed to be live. Is the game never gonna take pity and give us a piss easy one? I can't even press start and rage quit. Promoted Bishop Rook. Oh, this is the one. I remember this one. This is the one I fucked up because I thought this was a promoted Rook. But it's a Bishop. Okay. Okay. If I do that. What the point? I think I get this. I did not think that was going to happen. I feel like I have a cool humor in my butthole. What do I do now? It is very late. Wish I could go offline, but game must be played. It took me so long to kill the first opponent. And now I'm presented with a puzzle I just have to clear. And the game is giving me infinite tries. And if I don't get it done, I am a bitch. A lousy fucking bitch. So what do I do now? Do I move this thing? Do I move it left or down? If I move it left, the king is gonna eat it. But then actually I'm gonna guard it and that's good. Maybe, yes, that is actually the play. To move these fucking tiles to the left So I'm gonna grab it with my middle finger I'm gonna put it down and So many different ones. Here I only have this promoted rook, which is the best unit in the game. A rook and a golden general. The king is here. Is that a fine song for the album? Yeah. You guys clipping? You gotta auto tune it then. Bow. Mm. How's this work? It's a lens. We've seen this before. I mean, I can live with that. I just need to force one more reaction out of him. And if I do this, that reaction will necessarily be to, well, eat that. I think I got it. Oh. Why, dude? Why? Just let me play it out. There's no way I'm gonna learn shit if you don't let me play that fucking thing. Yeah, you sick son of a bitch. Look at this guy. It's this guy's fault. He's definitely dead from lung cancer now, but it's all his fucking fault. <sighs> fucking home data. Yeah, I'm gonna stay like that. That camera is staying like that. I'm, I ain't gonna fix that shit. 
All right, so. I'm gonna move as little as fuck, it fixed itself. Camera's too good. <laughs> Get on, Rally. What's up, Rally? Uh, this, 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 we've, we've, we've gotten this before. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a certain amount of these that just cycles through. It just cycles through these. Oh. Got a million messages. Oh, there's no, no time for messages. This is only time for game. As the silver general, that's the promoted rook. What if there's a password, man? It's gonna be a pass. It's, gonna, it's not a thing in this game. It's just not a thing. I cool new opponent and then I quit as soon as I get the cool new opponent. So technically, I'm not playing for shit, but why wouldn't. <sighs> Breathe out. <sighs> okay. We're cool. So the garlic on my floor. Garlic on my floor, game on my desk, chat on my monitor, capture Jeff, hello. Rip. You're dead. I guess it's kind of a shit reward. Maybe people expect that something happens for 5,000 channel points. <laughs> Nothing. That's just a way for you to read the board that divides the board in nine uh, three by three squares. Or maybe if you put six things there, uh, Satan appears. Or maybe the dragon of the Dragon Balls. I just brute force this shit. What do I go for? Isn't this easy? Like, what? How is he gonna come out of this? I don't understand. I don't understand how this is. This does not win the game. All right. Fuck the game's middle finger. I'm gonna bring on my own pointer guy. Pointer guy. Okay. So if I put a rook here, follow me. If I put a rook here, hold on. You go there. So a rook here. That's the king. The king is forced to move. If the king moves here or there, the king is dead. If the king moves there, the king is dead. If the king moves here, the king is dead. If the king moves here, the king is dead. Right. Pawns. Okay. The AI played a tile from the hand, which is a pawn. The pawn can only move here. Can remove the check from the unit. I don't know what you're talking about. I guess I'm too destroyed right now to understand. Now I could eat that pawn with this or with the rook. Wouldn't that be it? So if I eat it with this promoted bishop, the AI's next play is to eat that unit with the king and die, or to retreat with the king and die, or to kill that with the silver knight, and then I get another move. Their move being just the rook. Uh, that's it, right? That's that should be my play. What if I do it with the rook instead? I do the rook here. Same shit. Yeah, no, this is the play. I, I think I'll finally won. Why? Why let me play it out? I don't understand what your rules are. If you don't let me. Play. What's up, Shilrai? How are you today? Doing any cool shit after the Elemental Master run? Oh. So... Why...
Okay, let me read these rules. The attack inside, I play first. Okay. My king, it's not here if it is, whatever. All of my moves must be checks. Okay. My move was a check. There, definitely. And the, the, the AI must move in such a way to delay checkmate as long as possible. Whatever. And the AI has got all the pieces. And the AI can drop whatever. I cannot make a mate line longer than the given. A mate in 65 to a mate in... To a, what's that mean? It says mate in 3, but it fucked me up after 2 moves. Did the AI already calculate that that wasn't gonna win? Max difficulty gunster heroes? Sick, I only played that game once. I'm not the biggest fan of it, and it had infinite credits, so that wasn't really satisfying. Doing a non-infinite credit run, one CC run without the laser was probably would probably be what I would like to do myself. No laser. Uh, I'm about to give up because it's too late. I'm very tired, and even if I do win, we only get to see the next opponent. But we don't need. We're not, we're not gonna play him. It's too late. Uh, it's the same. It's the same one. I'm getting the same problem, chat. I'm getting the same problem bah, another time. So what if I place the rook here? Fuck it. I could kill it with that shit. Kill it with that. Uh, yeah, rally. I mean, I mean, the when you bid, the good news is when you bid the opponent, you get three chests, and it made it sound convincingly so that you can get one of these, but you can also get something else that's not actually having to solve a puzzle. Likely, it's gonna be like this is with the bad reward, the chat pick. By the way, fuck you guys. It could also be in like a fucking. Um, Item. You could have gotten an item. With some luck, you would never have to play this. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, there's some enemies in the manual that come out. Probably like five or six or some shit like that. Um, it's gonna be a doozy. Uh, here's my fucking rook. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something now, chat. I'm gonna do something now. I like my first move. What was it? Oh. Oh. Well, that horse of yours is fucking useless now, isn't it? Isn't that it? I don't understand. That was a check. That was a check on the king. Had the king killed that rook, I would have killed the king with the lance. Had the king moved anywhere else, I would have been able to check that. Some out there solutions, but what is that supposed to work like? The Wikipedia page doesn't mention, I mean, are these like arbitrary solutions? Like, it seems very confusing. It all seems so very confusing. Absolutely confusing as shit. I'm 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 losing it right now. I can't I can't. <sighs> A 
That's a lance. What's up, Brita June? Well, that's the minimum. Important thing is that you're having fun. <laughs> he got me there. He got me there. I slipped up. I just kind of want to close the stream and say goodbye. <laughs> you're right. Maybe I'm not having fun this stream. Do I look like I'm not having fun, Trey? Why would you say that? Uh, isn't that a good sign that he played that? If I just kill that. Now it's going to give me an X because I didn't solve it the way he wanted to. But the truth of the matter is if you look at the board, that's good. I'm going for the king. There's no way out for that fucking king in two more moves. Well, I guess that was my move number two. My move number three wouldn't be able to actually kill the king. I guess the game is right on that one. <laughs> is that fucking emote? It's perfect, dude. <laughs> Bad press. <laughs> Man, I remember one time Bad Breaks got so fucking shit-faced on stream. He started singing and playing guitar, but he was actually good at it. I requested Barbie Girl, and he played it, but then he deleted the VOD the next day. Um, King, Pawn, Promoted Rook. Uh, Bishop Rook. that there you can just kill me just retreat there that's shit basically I have two rooks just gonna find a way to mate it check him on the first move at least right I think that's it like I can at least figure out the, the first move that doesn't get me an X now what? what? Literally what? Why is he letting me play now? It doesn't make sense. How would I not shit the bet right now? This must... This, this, uh, they, might have, they must have coded this mode with the feet. The wrong feet. I ain't checking this guy. That's a rook, not a bishop. There you go, rally. There you go. Well, that's the only shit I, I can do that would check the king. That was fast. But it makes sense. I have three moves in these. I only have three fucking moves. about to give up on this shit for tonight it got a little late I salute you guys but tonight's been too long I farted off the seven chicken thighs I still got garlic on my floor what the fuck I'm doing online it is almost two in the morning I have just learned how to play shogi despite that fact that I just learned the game is drilling my asshole fuck and now I'm gonna try something else
Okay, bastard. Okay, piece of shit. Okay, motherfucker. Okay, cocksucker. Right? Right? Every move. Why? How does this make any sense? How does that make any sense, dude? How does that make any sense? I get that he's got all those pieces that he could theoretically play, but... What the fuck? Like, if you get some of these, you're dead and you have to start over? Is this what we're saying? There's no way I can do a perfect run without getting one of these. I have to become like a shoggy god to play this game. I'm gonna call it three more attempts and then I'm out. It's 2 a.m. Three more attempts. <sighs> three more attempts. Three more attempts. Three more attempts. choice it's not even gonna eat me with the silver general it's just gonna give me a big X to be honest that's fair cuz I don't see how I'm gonna win what's up Jimmy it's 2 a.m. eagerly waiting for this Sunday's uh, time zone daylight shit switch okay this one again You can just learn one, then you just wait for that one, and you do that. It's not that brutal of a situation, you know what I mean? Now I can't even, the way I can check him is basically by fucking doing this. Now tell me why I should get an X now. I can see that the king might move to the right and I would lose, but... Why don't you do that instead of confusing me with a fucking ex? Are there some puzzles that are in this page that I'm supposed to know the rules of or whatever? I want to look up the solutions. It's just... They're not, of course, they're not. The king is there, I have a pawn, I have a uh, lance, I have a uh, rook, I have a golden general. gonna put a pawn there is that what this fucker's gonna do what about this bitch okay then you're forced to move the king right and I can move him up that at least looks like the right move you know that's not it oh I don't think so my green we would have to check back. So I could get that with the lance, then the king will easily run away there. And the most I can check it again, I can't win. What about this? 
course. Uh, Alright, last last one. Last one. Rook, Golden General, Lance, Pawn. Ghost Hole! 35 months. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you again. The chakra never reset. That's a bug. Whatever. Thank you, Ghost Hole. Um. I'm too tired right now. I've been streaming too long. I can't. Isn't it the same puzzle? Gosh, it's the same puzzle. I haven't even recognized it was. But it is. It is the same puzzle. Hmm. Whatever I do, the only thing I can do here is to play one of these two and check the king. So either put like a rook to the right or left or put the golden general here, here, or there. There's, there's no two ways around this. There isn't. He doesn't seem to like either of my options, so... The fuck? That pawn's like a trap. I, I, I don't fucking get it. Wait. I realized that you can do this. I forgot. Promote that bitch. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. What was I expecting? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it, dude. Fuck. Now I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh. Oh. All right, chat. You might think that this was a failure of a stream. Truth be told, it was not. Sure. We cheated. Sure, we used the item that flips the board. But hey, haven't we perhaps done what we tried to do? Beat the opponent for the first time? Yes, we did. That's exactly what we did. We won the match. Lobster get to take you for the 15 months. Doesn't matter if the game puts. doesn't matter because we'll be back next time stronger bigger with a cleaner asshole and a stronger ass soldier sometimes sometimes I think that I should really just sell newspapers instead. Uh, but then I remember that all those games are just gonna play themselves. Uh, uh, sometimes you just gotta grab your balls, buy the balls, uh, and play some more games. Uh, uh. It's the garlic on my floor. It's the garlic. Oh my god.
garlic. As I was saying, some would say, hey, you're a bitch. What's going on? You can't beat the game? Oh, I beat the first opponent. I never played Shoggy before. Get wrecked. That's all I need to have for tonight. And it's time to finally over the weekend, go to Japan. The Emperor shall teach me how to appear in the scene from the wrong angle and learn Shogi. And it'll come out the wrong angle again. So it doesn't matter if you play chess, if you like checkers, or you're squeezing your dick right now looking at some anime pornos. All that matters is learning Shoggy. I'm gonna learn Shoggy. I'm gonna play Shoggy all 2024. It's all gonna be me, you, Chad, and Shoggy. It's just gonna be Shoggy all day, every day. Mother we're gonna play, we're gonna play Shoggy. Mother where you going? I could use your fucking AI help to figure out this puzzle. God damn it, you guys have a good weekend learning Shoggy and eat some food fucking Easter food. I'll catch you next.